So welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Now officially to the pure summoner leveling stream. We have six hours, exactly six hours from this point on, and we're planning to. This is summoner daddy. Shit, it's too long, and it's robo daddy because we have robo daddy and robo mommy. But we can't help that. Seasonal realm. And we're going to be skipping the campaign on starting in world tier two. Plan is six hours to world tier four. Uh, it's not impossible. Gotta cut the music short. It's running somewhere in the background with all my windows open. Sorry, chat. Somewhere there is music running. Okay, talk to talk to the person, a uh, summoner. We're going to start with We'll probably use Reeb. You know what? We're going to use Reeb uh to have just more corpses form. Mhm. Mm then we're going to be using Blight. And uh, actually not Blight, we're going to be using Sever with the more damage up and cast when you have minions. And then we're going to boost the skeletons plus the corpse explosion. The plan is skeletons Corpse Explosion, Reap, and Simmer. Right now, where it's going? I'm not ready yet. Keep moving, traveler. It's a bad time to be in here. Talking to the lady while the dude goes all crazy. Claim Renown. Mm, yeah, you could actually claim the Renown in the beginning for that little bit of bonus gold. And that little bit of bonus XP that you're getting, it's true. You just get a free level, essentially. It's kind of cheat code, I'm not going to lie, to to just get yourself a uh, free experience like that. Okay, we're rushing to up here. Oh no, the Imperial Library is trash. Sorry, that would have been a terrible teleport. That would have been a terrible one. Wait, before we get anywhere... I mean, seriously, got a ride in style, right? <laughs> Level 75 in six hours. Well, 60 is the goal today. 60. And that with a pure summoner is going to be very interesting because people are always like, you know, summoner is so weak, but summoner is one of the best level experiences. Just there. Especially when you're going to be using Sever and Sever should be very nice with the new robot together. How long did the race to 100 take? The race to 100 took, um, that's level three already for existing. Uh, it's level one to 50, world tier one and world tier two. It's level one to 35, silly. And that is in world tier two. It's actually one to 38 probably, but it's in world tier two because as the necro with the minions, you're so goddamn sturdy that, well, nothing really stops you in any capacity. You're just like a real goddamn menace. And destroy everything. Oh yeah, I can't say no to this. My skeleton's back up. Especially Reap at the beginning is just mean. Uh, we could probably do the Harvest Venomous Nodes. Yeah, we should just do Venomous Nodes quickly. It, it would be waste to not do that. Uh, it's, it's just like a free... Something. No, like, because finishing these Whispers in the beginning is just nasty. We want to finish the Seasonal Mechanic, right? To actually get our goddamn horse. But we also need to... Let's do the ritual sides quickly. Just can't say no to that. I can Dory. Thank you for the four months of support. Can Dory. So good to see you there. So how long was it to 100? Honestly, for 100, if you're taking it slow like me, it was like 22 to 24 hours. There was, there was, there was like... Okay, that was taking it slow. <laughs> slow. But yeah, that's like my... Uh, we could do iron maiden to restore some essence early but i don't think we want to do that we we'll probably just want to beef up the sever yeah i'm just gonna do that mm -hmm. hey masters good to see you there how are you doing brother okay 
Okay, another final ritual side, and then we're gonna go to do the seasonal thing and the Venuma's notes. At least the world boss. No, 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 no. Uh, don't do that. In world tier one, they just take too long. So, like, ge general word of advice when it comes down to world bosses, uh, world, world tier one is just horrible when it comes down to that. You're, you're just, like, wasting time because you think you're actually doing well, but you just end up, like, getting to the position where it's like, oh, shit, like, that was, like, 20 minutes now, you know? I, I didn't want to spend 20 minutes with this, and then, yeah. It feels kind of shitty, man. I'll tell you that much for free. And right now we're just flying through the early levels, getting getting this one pumped up as much as we can. Hope we can do a druid build. Druid is on the menu for next week, probably. I mean, right now I want to get the second necro up, so I just have two necros. Then we're gonna like make this uh with uh, some shadow end game fanat shenanigans. Uh druid is probably for next week. Uh, as as I want to figure out like a very good way to level druid. I'm not sure if it's overpower or lightning storm. How well lightning storm is actually for leveling because druid as always has like some spirit problems and they they're really annoying and boring and I hate the spirit problems that druid has. So yeah. Any clue what would be a good android tablet chat? Can you help Mr. Overflow on android tablets? Don't worry, we're, we're not going to go one class this season because one class is going to be just simply too boring. So we'll, we'll be doing multiple things. One of the best Necro players. No, 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 I'm I'm the best. <laughs> but I'm also very humble. Oh, one of the best. I'm, you know, I'm very humble as well and honest. The three H's, honest, humble, and hung. Humble is the biggest H though. It's a Pugio. Like, I, ju I just found a Pugio and I'm just like, what the fuck is a Pugio? <laughs> what did I just find there? And that was those three thingies. Now let's do the vault to get our our little friend. Ricardo, greetings. With rabies till 65, then change to your build. Yeah, but I, I found rabies so boring on Druid, so I really don't want to do that. So if I do Druid, I'm probably going to have to find a way where it's fun, you know? Pugio sounds like a Pokemon. You're not wrong. You're, you're not wrong. Ah. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button because I was on Twitter for a second. Six hours to World Tier 4. What do you think, Chan? Possible? Impossible? We should be doing well. Especially as a summoner. So we're going to be using probably Sever for a while. The plan is to essentially phase Sever out at some time, but probably keep it until World Tier 3, most likely. We do want Army of the Dead. Why not another class? Uh, because I will be going for the leaderboards on Necro, and I need multiple Necros to be going for the leaderboard easier, uh, since I will try many different builds out, uh, and that's why we're doing another Necro to 100. Also, I want to do the summoner for you guys. So so why not another class, Del Davis? Uh, this is for you, for the people that love Necro or that want to level summoner Necro. And what is better than making a video about this? You know, for the people that are interested in this. Like, give them a video. Give them a full guide, a full breakdown on how you could be rocking summoner Necro if you're interested. Will you max Sun Shell for each character? Yeah, it's so easy now. I mean, right right now I run like ten. Um, I run ten tier one hundred vaults, and I get so many uh, stones and everything from it that I can just boom instantly get my Sun Shell companion on any character leveled. It is so it's so quick. I mean, on my main character, it's like almost everything tend out. Uh, it's it's nice. The the change was needed and important. Because without the change, it was just like, it wouldn't have been possible for the casual player to get their companion up. Like, like it would have literally been impossible. And that can't be like, how can it be that the seasonal mechanic is, is impossible?
I was in pain, right? No one would have liked to see that. You're killing my you're killing my minions. So right now it's like simpler than ever due to the changes, which is good to see. Uh, we could go for corpse tendrils already. Yeah, I'm actually going to do corpse tendrils already because why not? We're going to be having a lot of opponents. So a corpse tendrils needs to be on four and that needs to be on five currently. Actually, you know what? That can be on one. Else I'm not going to use it. So now, now people are going to at least get it max leveled. And now, now like, you're going to at least get a max level on multiple characters. I still don't know why they're not sharing the seasonal mechanic across the board. Like, I, I would prefer that in, in so many ways that you essentially can get... Oh, that's green. That you can get the seasonal mechanic, like, for, for every character. I, I don't feel it's needed to force us, right? Your opinion on the trap thingy, I love the trap thingy, but I'm a necro, and for me, it just comes natural to enjoy the trap thingy, uh, because I am slow, I am sluggish, uh, for me, it's fun to go through the mechanic, and the end room for a necro is just perfectly easy to do. Because you're, you're essentially just holding back, right, behind your minions, uh, behind your minions, you're, you're just holding back, and essentially having, like, like, you know... Essentially, just murder everything without without a single problematic. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I need more time. So I liked the traps from the beginning on. I wasn't annoyed by it. I think the most annoyance came from from barbarians. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Like the most annoyed people were barbarians. I think so, I I can't see how sorks are annoyed about traps. Sorry, and I, I can't see how necros are annoyed by traps. And Necros and Sorgs are the most played class. I need more time. How much has D4 increased since Season 1? Vastly. Like, words cannot describe how much. Uh, should we do Defenders now? We should do another Warrior. Oh, that was bad. Vast improvements. I saw Firewall Sork having problem with the traps. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but but that kind of sounds like a self-created issue. You know, like if you play a Firewall Sork and then you can't see anything. Yeah. Right? But playing the Bone Spirit build up until now, would you say the new uploaded today with Bloodlands is better? Um, they both do an equivalent high amount of damage. The Blood Surge, uh, the Bloodlands one is a bit smoother to play than the Bone Spirit one. But the Bone Spirit one is more fun. And that's what I would currently say. Vulnerable. Let's do that. A demon? A demon? I, um... Repair my robot, please. Repair my robot, please. Thank you very much. You play Warzone? No, sir. My content has been doing it has this place. never this good with Warzone. And end of the day, this is my job. And I enjoy Diablo and other games than Warzone. So, yeah. You know? And if I get a clear sign from my community that they want to see me do other stuff, then why, 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 why do the stuff, you know? Crifter, thank you for the 55 months of support, Crifter. Very welcome and a pleasure to see you there. Oh, look at him. Timmy is back. I call my robot Timmy. What do you call your robot? There we are. It's always Timmy. Okay, Lightning Bolt with Electrocution support and Mockery support. We played last Epoch. We will probably Jimmy, Gibby. Gibby's good. I could, could have called him Gobby, but now he's Timmy. I can't take it back. I think this place is not a ring. So, yeah. I work 
Open the door. Mr. Ayushan. Don't forget the elixirs. Yeah, for the elixirs, I would have to teleport back to town right now to make one. We could quickly do that, I guess. Quickly do that. And the good thing is we're getting the 20% XP from the season, right? That's a, that's a nice one. It's going to give us a nice speedy speed up. Didn't they put also a bonus? Wait a second. Didn't they put like one of the... Yeah, the number of skeletal warriors is actually in, huh? I need more time. Uh, it's quite nice. Because usually you struggle to get that aspect. And both minion aspects just have to be in the products of power. So it's actually a joke if it's not in there. Elixirs. Let's see. I can craft the third eye. And yes, guys, we have 300 million gold. Why? Well, for some reason, they make gold super easy. You want to name your robot Rob? That's that's like, I can't call it Rob, brother. Everyone will think I'm a, I'm a Rob2628 fanboy then. Secretly, I am, though. So, but I can't. Come on now. Follow Ayujan, but he's not here. I'm not ready yet. Come on then. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Security. Security so we made level 10 now in what? A little of 20 minutes? I mean, that's always the fastest part, right? But we, we gotta go faster. Can't wait to finally get into the overworld. How many minutes is the is the actually left? Oh, 10 minutes. Shit. I need to get this part done quickly. No, 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 no. Very bad. I don't have time. Oh, 10 minutes. Like we need to, we need to just really take every, every possible uh, whisper because that's just so much experience. We need more momentum, more violence. Oh no. Isn't this one of the like longest parts of the quest? I remember this was one of the very long parts and it was like very annoying. <laughs> uh, what's the plan to make pure summoner viable in later tiers? Get some dirty secrets. Uh, I mean, I can make pure summoner B tier 100 dungeons. That's it's actually not hard. So, but what, what's the plan? The plan is for pure summoner lovers to make a video so they can enjoy pure summoner. Because I am here. I'm not only here to make the best builds in business. I'm also here to make the most fun builds in business. These are these are like the two pillars of my content. I mean, I make very good builds, so you can push content. But I also make very fun builds, so you can push content. And that's like the two pillars of my content that I'm very proud of. Because if I was just making the very best build, like if I was just making the best build, so you know, I would be missing out on, on a good pillar. Oh, we found the library. Let's go. Come on, faster. Asian talks so much. Do you have builds for other classes too, Bird? We have a Druid build and a Mage build. Uh, you can also see them under like um, on the YouTube. But mostly, mostly it's quality Necro builds, Bird. I love the Malphite's voice. It makes me happy. Almost level 15 for the mages already. That's when the game really starts. Also, is the other mage aspect? It's not in here. Man. 
Uh, better Bone Spirit or Bloodlands for farm. Both are fantastic for it. Just choose the one you enjoy, you know? And that, that's, like, very important. If we get Mages, we instantly get another 6% Multiplicative Damage Plus. Straight away. Just like that. Snippity snap. Will survivability, survivability be good with summoners? Yes, you can make it rather undying. Might not, but you can make every Necro undying. And yes, you can also make a summoner Necro undying. It's possible. Don't, don't worry. I can make everything undying. Okay, interact with the gate hall waypoint. Wait, where's the gate hall waypoint? Does it want me to go back? Does it want me to find the gate hall waypoint first? And we, we need to we need to go back first. Like it's only seven days ago I have done the quest. I'm already having holds in my brain, huh, Chan? Uh, we could make our movement speed higher, like so, so we can just zoom faster. Really into the game and already forgetting everything. So what is the final skill that's missing, by the way, Chad? The final skill that's missing currently is... The Golem. What's the fastest way to get out of World Tier 3? Uh, Overworld stuff. Yes, Drizzy. Overworld stuff and Nightmare Vaults are like such a quick, incredible XP gain that you would be stupid to ignore that. The enemy density is just amazing, and people might tell you to go Domheim Tunnels, but these people also hate life. When especially for a Necro with the enemy density, it's just like always godsend. Yes, I'm ignoring the Gobble guys, because right now I just need to get the Whispers done before they uh, run out, you know? I am frozen. This wasn't on my bucket list. I'm not ready. Yes, World Tier 1 Heralds of Malphys are so sturdy. It's actually crazy. Like, in comparison to, like, later World Tiers, like, but World Tier 1 Heralds, they have the sturdiness baked into them. Okay, Whisper done. That's great. Gyrade, second, second Governing Stone, finally, Chan. A robot becoming useful. Let's hand in the next whisper for the level. It should be almost 14 then. I did the tunnels 1 to 50 with the rogue. It made me miserable. Yeah, well, why did you do that? Like, let's show you. Think of doing Druid or Necro, any of those. Uh, like, Druid is great this season. Necro is better, but I'm biased. It is done. You cannot you cannot ever ask me because I'm I'm like I'm like biased. I'll show you biased. Always tell you to go Necro. Not while I'm in town. Good morning from Italy. Howdy, Vincenzo. Will the Pure Summoner build be up on Mobilitics? Yes, when we when we get it flashed out. I mean, again, the plan today is to rush to World Tier 3 as fast as possible. Uh, World Tier 3, World Tier 4. Because that kind of like shows also how well the concept is working. And how good the new golem is, because obviously the golem got buffed, in case you missed that. Yes, Chad. Boom, that's 14. Perfect. Overworld just popping. One of my skelly boys died. Oh, oh we actually need to, we need to kill that thing. Thank you very much. And technically, I need to kill like 100 Robbies really fast. Where, where do I... It's not that hard to, like, kill a lot of these constructs. Especially not when corpse explosions are involved. Yeah, this is why I wanted to do the whispers, because they're just so damn good. I mean, you see. How, how can you how can you not just simply level here? 
I just have to exist and we're just flying through the levels. Mm, next points are going to make my minions stronger. Especially these things. So this is this is the true experience. Especially as a necro. So you just, you just summon a bunch of minions and then I just corpse explosion. While my minions kill the rest. So I'm just, I'm just standing around here. There's corpse explosion. And I have my minions just do the rest for me. And also summon the shadow mages to have a bit another shadow bold. Right? And and that's like that's like where where minions just do absolutely fantastic. Same goes here. I go to this position again, crazy enemy density, but who cares about crazy enemy density, right? Get everything told together. And then just corpse explosion it all. You know, make my minions attack faster. Actually, we should we should choose Army of the Dead right now. Now we have Army of the Dead too. Fantastic. Uh, what's next? The this this reset. So we have to go keep return to Ejon and Gate Hall. Yep, uh, we gotta get that wrapped up. I mean, I, I would like to just level down, right? Uh, but we actually need to get to Ejon and Gate Hall to get that done. Doing very good, Lumi. Hope you're doing well as well. Also, Crifter, thank you for the 55 months of support. Crifter, I did miss your message. I am very sorry. Must apologize. Do appreciate. Oh, there's no no like there's no traitors here yet. My dearest friend. You refused. No traitors here yet. A charge hodo bar meta this season, yeah, for the barb leaderboard, but there's class gated leaderboards. You know, I I don't know how long it will take to understand that there is no no like set meta, because it all comes down to what leaderboard you're trying to climb. Just watch the newest Necker video starting Necker now. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to go to Skosglen. I'm interacting with the map. Normally. Interacting with the map. Uh, like, this is the annoying part, I will admit, that you have to do the seasonal quest again. You and your friends had no idea how to get the journals. The problem with the journals is you not even get anything for it, right? Like you, you do it and 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 then and then you're like done. <laughs> Like, congrats. Like, amazing that you did this. Come back when your second skin needs a bandage. Necro is such an underrated class. I mean, it seems to be the most played class throughout the whole game. I am still surprised by this because I did not expect for Necro to be the most played class. But as it turns out, it is. Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead starts getting useful later. But as soon as we have the Golem, we're going to take Corpse Tendrils out and we're essentially going to keep Army of the Dead together with all the other stuff. Should be making for a good... We need more stones, and especially I would like to get a... You know, I should just buy a bunch of caches, right? Why, why, why am I mocking around? I need to get I need to get the whole gate hall activated and then just buy a bunch of caches, right? I, I, I don't know why I'm, why I'm even trying, chat. Why, why don't I just, like, get everything done and then I just buy all the caches in the world, huh? Man, that's my second character. Suck it. I, I can just do that. It's not like I have to play it fair. Huh? <laughs> do, 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 do. 
By the way, I need a I need a potion reminder, Chan. So every now and then, please tell me why potions are about to run out. Let's pull everything together. That's what it's good for. See, the, this is this is where you make the most XP, right? This is where you're just flying through the levels, where everything is just gonna come 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 into your favor, because you're just standing there and it just keeps summoning stuff, and you you just uh. And I, I'm, I essentially don't even have to like use my actual abilities, right? I just corpse explosion everything. That's in. Done. Seventeen. Uh, Army of the Dead is they leave corpses behind, so I have more things to explode. Start at Necro in the Eternal Realm. We should start in Seasonal. Should I start a new Necro in Seasonal? I mean, like, so what you should do, Ben, is uh, with your Eternal Realm Necro, you should finish now the um the renown because renown is important to get finished and you should also finish the um what was it called again renown renown and altars of lilith and the campaign and then you can start with the seasonal realm because once you have that finished you'll never have to do it again otherwise you just have to start with it from the beginning and there's nothing more annoying than having to redo renown again from the beginning like you want to you want to be just like you know that that part of the game just like done done and done and then never talk about it uh can bone spear be good for aoz there's no aoz aoz's gone aoz's not returning aoz was a one-time thingy for for this season and that's it yeah yeah i mean like sorry in case you didn't know this I hope I did not ruin your season now. Number 12 Zero was literally just meant to be that, that on Vogue fun end game activity that you get there, but it was never meant to stay. And it was also good that it wasn't meant to stay because uh, as much as AOZ was fun, it was at the same time far away from being good. Especially since, like, for example, the class leaderboards now are really giving everyone a chance to properly progress through things. Whereas the AOZ was really heavily scuffed because it needed to be balanced for everyone the same way. Which doesn't need to happen for the class leaderboards the way for AOZ it had to be. So, I mean, Necros were, for example, shafted. Beyond shafted. So right now the goal is to activate gate halls so I get the traders there to then be able to buy the stone caches. Main goal. Also Sever, by the way, is going to be amazing for Melfus. Just thought about it, but Sever is going to be super good. At we need to get level 18 quick because level 18 is going to give us uh, skeletal frost mages. That then allow us to restore resource because that's what we're essentially looking for. We're looking for easy resource restoration because that's what Necro struggles the most with. Mm, attack speed, and now we can get cold mages, and these cold mages are giving us resource back. Thank you very much. Is he had a leaderboard? No, it didn't. But AOZ still had to be balanced in a way that, you know, it was, it was not, not like uh, Barbarians just killing it on day one completely because Barbarian is overtuned. And I think we have a little bit of a problem with Barbarian, guys, because they can never make it weaker again. I mean, imagine they cut Barbarian's power in half because Barbarian is overtuned, right? We, we all know this. We don't have to talk about that. Everything, either everything else is undertuned. Or Barbarian is overtuned, right? But if Barb is overtuned, how are they going to nerf it? Because they said they're never nerfing anything again without giving you something back. So they they can't essentially nerf it, right? Because then everyone is going to be like, My Barbarian, he used to be so good and now we, 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 Right? Can Summoner Necro do High Nightmare Dungeons? Oh, Summoner Necro can do Tier 100s. I mean, you still need to have night perfect gear for that, and it's way harder than than with the other um, specifications. But it's possible. Oh, 
people, everything to... Oh, no, we gotta kill the possessed villagers, right? Yeah. Poor possessed villagers need to die. Yeah, okay, you have to have them in traps. They wouldn't want to die from alone. Give me, let me through. Chest. Roads of warding. Arcing stone. Can Does arcing stone work for... Marking worse for lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, would you recommend jumping to well tier four? I jump with level fifty-five, Tony. Fifty-five is the the level I always want to jump to well tier four. I know not everyone is comfortable with this, and that's totally understandable because fifty-five can be kind of daunting. But it's usually the the early, or the yeah the earliest you kind of want to go. A bit earlier, it's not worth it. Uh, can I, like, he just wants to have pearls, but I have everything already, right? <laughs> he's like, can you please, you know, get these materials to upgrade them? Like, Psh, yeah. I mean, coincidentally, I do have all the materials you have been looking for already with me. If you want to play a minion build, just play Barb. The pet scaling is killing Uberloth and Duriel. Yeah, that's not the same, sir. <laughs> I know it's meant as a fun comment, but that's not the same. It's not the kind of thing we're looking for. Oh, I get efficiency support. Uh, efficiency support and swift. And now we're also going to have our scale to worry us be the corpse, the corpse reapers. Let's quickly do this one. This is just simply not the same. Nothing goes over having a cool army of skeletal warriors aid you in battle. I mean, seriously. Nothing. Because it's you and the lads, you know? You and the lads. You're going out to have fun. To save sanctuary. Well, that's the the quad. Pull everything together. Army of the dead. Mm-hmm. Very efficient, Chad. Very efficient. Much clear. Many vow. Uh, there is two more. I'm going to take the two more on top. And then we'll teleport out and do the fiver. Let's never build so far the new Bloodlands build. It's intriguing how blood like how Blood Surge went from S tier to actually B tier and below. Yeah, sad. And Bloodlands went from like B tier and below to to potential S tier, depending on how the gauntlet actually goes. It's often hard to believe how these things change from season to season, but minor things can have major impact. Also, I can't believe how fast we're going through the levels. Jeez, we're almost... We're, we're 20. How long is the YouTube stream already, chat? The YouTube stream kind of shows how long we've been leveling. The length of the YouTube stream is right now... 40 minutes, roughly? Yeah, 40. Ooh. Tempo, speed, momentum, violence. Rings? Why not rings? Yeah. Let's just get some... Let's just get some rings, right? If a ring has max of minion life, you could take this. Okay, everyone gets attack speed. That's good. Technically, you want to boost the armor and everything as well. My lightning bolt actually upgraded. Who would have guessed? Uh, lightning bolt is level two. We got another. We got protect and reconstruct now. If like, if like uh, that would actually heal my minions, that would be nice, right? Do you need to target a specific corpse or target or just auto target and just spam three keys? Uh like on console, I think it's auto target. Now don't 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 call me out on that, but I truly believe. I mean, you essentially like you hold down the button and you just hover your mouse, okay? See, like here, this is the corpse explosion. 
This is Corpse Explosion. So it is a targeted skill, but you can hold it down and just wave it over the screen. So like, like just do this, right? And it will, I will, it will find its targets eventually. We get 10,000 stones, Chan. It sounds kind of good, right? Ten thousand stone. You see how the uh, like your Herald of Malthus feels when we're when we're alone without Army of the Dead. Ha! He's frozen. <laughs> where where did you go, Herald of Malthus? You definitely killed one of my mages. We don't like that. Yeah, that was simple. I like it. Good. It's gonna be intriguing how how strong like the the um, robot feels now because I played it like the first time when it wasn't so strong, and it was feeling like a bit underwhelming in terms of scaling. But now that the scaling is actually happening a bit faster, I'm really intrigued to see how much faster it will feel. Okay, we have that done. Now we need to find the Vault of Stone under Fractured Peaks. That is here on the right side. And your latest video has inspired you to lock into Necker again. Thank you very much. Could you use Decompose instead of Reap? Yes, but Reap just hits more target and is more efficient in the beginning. I mean, yes, you can use Decompose. I just don't see a reason for it. I mean, Decompose and or Reap both are actually going away. So a basic skill is not needed for this build. Has never been actually so so necro using basic skill you're kind of playing it wrong <laughs> um that's where we're also going to be phasing out that basic skill very very soon as soon as we get like the essence production like to to happen more automatically oh look, look at the amount of minions summoning my army of the dead destroying the corrupted pillar Pulling everything together. No, no one can tell me that this enemy density is not just simply insane, right, Chan? Oh, you killed my two of my mages. I don't like that. Right, like that. That's just that's just a crazy amount of enemies on one spawn, and they're all giving you cool levels straight away. Oh, nice. More elites. Pull everything together. So Reeb also instantly makes it. And now, boom, 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 corpse explosion, guys. Boom. Too good to ignore. See how how can you how can you go into Domheim tunnels when this is when this is just around the doorstep, you know? Like you're you're spending time in Domheim tunnels, I'm farming the seasonal mechanic. We are not the same. <laughs> And soon we're going to get the golem on top. Oh, here. Army of the Dead, Chad. Because Army of the Dead now does damage to everyone explosive around. And these skeletons from Army of the Dead, they also leave behind corpses. Yep. So I have even more corpses to explode. Kind of like a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Got to see if there's like any, any minion related thingies that I can actually take from the... that I can take from the Codex of Powers for the Capstone Dungeon. Because technically I want to beat the Capstone Dungeon already at 35. I'm not sure how viable that is with minions. Because minions might just die a little bit too fast if we try to do it with 35. Already. 
But there's like there's like some like we, we gotta we gotta look in the codex of powers what there is actually in the codex of powers to make them more sturdy because in the codex of powers you have like protector disobedience you got barrier you got and we got the luck getters aspect mm, nothing really much oh, offensive wait there is grasping sacrificial plunging bass blight needle yeah, this is increased damage if I do Elderwood. That's kind of nice, to be honest. Uh, damned to uh, no unyielding, unyielding commander. Because while Army of the Dead is active, your minions gain attack speed and take 90% reduced damage. That's actually really good. So we need the Faceless Shrine and Havazar. That'd be good. But Havazar is level 40. Like, it's 45, right? Wait, no. Havazar is 45? There needs to be a way to reduce it. Well, Decrepify. That's why you're using Decrepify. Decrepify reduces your cooldown. So we're going to get rid of Corpse Tendrils. And we're going to get rid of Reap in the long run. And then we're going to use Decrepify and the Golem. Mm-hmm. Did Jamar Frostnecker build? No, we are still far away from the Frostnecker. I'm sorry for that. It's not, not no time for that yet, cool fan. I'm sorry, like you, you'll have to wait a bit for that. It's it's on the menu, but we're we're essentially like seven days into the season. There is there's many videos to be made, there's many things to be covered. Uh that one is not yet. Thank you to Yoshi for the 76 months of support to Yoshi. Great to see you there. Also, chat is is your is your robot already tend out? Is is it already tend out? Have you have you every skill on ten? I'm, I'm like very close to in. And the most important question: Are you actually doing normal nightmare dungeons? Anyone still? I haven't done like since since this season is out like I only did a normal nightmare dungeon to show chat that I can kill nightmare dungeon bosses still <laughs> That's like that's the the only reason for me to do that apart from you know else there's like no no even remote reason to ever set my foot into a normal nightmare dungeon Blood Surge is still the best for leveling honestly blood surge is still fantastic for leveling but it has gotten weaker uh, and I would say the Bone Spear Spirit build is actually better for leveling, almost. Uh, but also, like, the Summoner Necro we're doing here right now. So, the, like, the reason why we're doing Summoner Necro is to give you another alternative to leveling. Because the actual leveling with Summoner is super fun and super smooth. Uh, but, like, in order to make a proper guide for this or show you how it properly works, I, I gotta, like, put it through its paces, right, this season? And that's what we're doing right now putting it through its paces so we you can, you can see how good it is i mean I'm, I'm just i'm just flying through the levels we're like an hour in and we're level 25 which is nice I and mean, then we're also getting the 25 percent experience from the season so it's an advantage obviously do we do hellbind commander guys for the damage multiplier actually not yet we're gonna do the golem wasn't sure if i wanted hellbind commander there yet Season 3 is easily the best open world feeling. I know people are still whining after Blood Harvest, but the Arcane Tremors and the the things are better. I, I don't I don't know what it is with people to like to like constantly complain when we have something this good, but the actual Arcane Tremor shiznit and and all that stuff is so damn good. And I won't be told different. I am enjoying it way more than Blood Harvest. Uh, Blood Blood Harvest, yeah, and I love Blood Harvest, right? But the overall part, they got nailed down. I, need more time. 
I kind of wish they would keep Nightmare Vaults. Yes, I already said this. Nightmare Vaults are way more fun for me, and there's way more loot than normal Nightmare Dungeons. I cannot remotely imagine after this season going back to just doing normal Nightmare Dungeons. I mean, we're only seven days into the season, so we'll see, but I'm already dreading. Yes, I'm already dreading season four in that regard that we might just get joined the one the one thing that made me enjoy the end game even more. So let's hope they're not. But as always, we adapt, Chad, and we get over it and we enjoy. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of creators that are essentially like unhappy um, and they quit already this season. But honestly, the creators that quit for this season, they have already been not enjoying Diablo 4 anyways. You know, a lot of Diablo 4 creators went over to PoE and they're now engrossed with the PoE and there's nothing wrong with that. But no matter what Diablo does, I don't think they're coming back, Chan. So we're also like, the question is right now, do we do Kellen's Addict or do we do Shadow Blight? Because Shadow Blight gives me and my minions more damage, right? Um, but Kellen's Addict just gives us all more attack speed. And since we're running to do the full summoner, we're, we're going for the Addict. I mean, the problem is that the Addict doesn't do anything for us until a certain point, and the Shadow actually does things for us, so that is something to reasonably consider. See how, how smooth this feels with minions too? Minions just killing everything where we're just, just sending things left, right, and center back. Okay, the chest is also new here. We're leveling. Ooh, an amulet. Yay! You deal increased shadow damage to enemies afflicted by the crap of fire and iron maiden. Whee! Useless. <laughs> Don't let me pretending that I found something good change the fact that that is useless. Okay. Taking the piss out of you. What bosses are disappointing now? World bosses have always been disappointing. Always. Do you think PoE 2 will be worse than Diablo 4? No, I think PoE 2 will be absolutely fantastic, but that's that like like independent of Diablo 4. Both games are fun. And I can't wait to play both games. Right? Craft an uncertain stone cache. Oh, yeah. I'll craft one uncertain stone cache, Chad. <laughs> he said craft one uncertain stone cache. Yeah, let me, let me, ca let me craft 30. Ah. No problem. Let me quickly just craft one of those. Good. Now, now we do actually have our lightning bolt already on rank seven. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, seriously, wait, I can do focus fire and does focus fire and arcing work to hit multiple enemies? It does, right? Uh, we got, we got focus fire to shoot out and hit multiple enemies. Um, but focus fire should also have, um, not the mockery support. The yeah, focus fire needs swift and Jari can have mockery if he wants to like frigid for the freezing. And here you get mockery as well. Okay, let's go. You know what? Let's craft another ten. What? What the? What the hell? Let's craft another thirteen. <laughs> I mean, Swift is six already. You're gonna be kidding me! Holy Christ, we're we're just like zooming. 
Zoom in chat. Okay, find Vigiri thingies in the old library. Okay, old library was the one teleport point here. Yep. Last Epoch, Last Epoch is quite something. Uh, but I mean, unless I'm super bored in D4, I will not test Last Epoch. You tried your mutilated plate build. You just tried the mutilated plate build. It's insane, Ryan. I'm happy it's going good for you too. I and mean, I, I know my builds are good because I don't create them just for clickbait, but I'm happy when you try them out and you feel the same, you know? So, sometimes sometimes maybe my feeling is just different than yours, and, and that's where you're like, you know what? I got clickbaited by a streamer again. Again. New Uber boss is super fun. I do like the new Uber boss. I don't like how long it takes. I mean, you have to farm at least for 30 minutes, if not more, to get the materials to enter the Uber boss. Then the actual dungeon for the Uber boss takes a significant amount of time. The fight is fun, right? And I recommend usually to be level 100 there, because if you go actually before level 100, uh, yeah, <sighs> you might end up sad. I've seen a lot of people try it with 90-ish around, and they kind of get to the point where they thought they had it, but they didn't. Oh wait, before I before I do this thing, no, 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 before I do this thing, I actually have to get the golem. But now I'm already here, so I kind of have to, oh shit. Yeah, I, I forget to get the golem, Chan. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Sorry, chat, wasn't intended. Okay, let's get the golem quickly. Made a mistake there. So one hour, level 25. Can we get to world tier three under two hours? What's the fastest way? 59 to 70, overworld and nightmare vaults. If you're in world tier four already, are you world tier four? I mean, with 59, you should be world tier four. And then you just do nightmare vaults and it's gonna be super fast. The good thing about nightmare vaults is that you don't need to be able to kill a boss opponent. This is something that a lot of people forget, but if you don't have to kill a boss opponent, then Nightmare Vaults are actually way easier because a lot of builds, they struggle with killing a boss. But hey, in a Nightmare Vault, you only have to be able to kill masses of minions very easy. Right? Wait, 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 wait. I only need one more for a whisper, and I think I just ran past the ravaged corpse there. Yep. Yep. Sorry, but I can't be ignoring that one. Too good to be true. My 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 stones are still getting upgraded from the all the stone caches we have bought, Chad. But so so many stone caches is still being upgraded. See now now we got a whisper done. That's fantastic. I find myself dreading going back to nightmare dungeons. I really hate them. Yes, Katie. I could not be more with you on that one. I need time to do that. The new boss you can kill easy. Just leave it in the cold trap and it's pretty easy. I mean, like, depends on your class. Depends on your build. I mean, for me, as a Necro with Bone Spear, Malphys was also relatively easy. Uh, but not everyone sees it the same way. Right? And people struggle with different things. So the new the new boss is definitely a challenge like no matter how you feel about it personally they 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 made him they made him a good difficulty i'm, I'm not disappointed um i mean it's what it, it's what it is supposed to be like the like well, why put a seasonal mechanic in and then make the boss a complete pushover it should at least be an experience right I do still believe that Malphys should drop the actual unique stones with a 100% chance. 
So I, I don't feel like you should be farming Melfis for the stones. I feel like they should drop. Uh, that's not because I'm asking for handouts. That's because I want everyone to experience the season to its fullest. Because that, that's like the problem. Like now, now you have people there that will like just literally never have them. Is the Uber Malfus Dungeon Nightmare 100? No, 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 no. Uber Malfus Dungeon has level 100 opponents. Level 100. That's, uh... Yeah. That's, that's nothing. Do you talk ever about non-seasonal Necro builds? I mean, you can take every build that I have and you can put that in Eternal Realm as well. You're just weaker without the seasonal powers, but none of them needs the seasonal powers to work. You can't wait to see your face when they announce the removal of Vaults in Season 4. I mean, if it happens, it happens, sir. As I said, you, you adapt, improvise, and overcome. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a smart ARPG player. I know the game changes. That's why it's called a life service game. You know, because there's life service happening. Like some people, some people like they, they always ask for life service, but then when they get it, they're like, oh no, I've been getting life service. I'm so mad. <laughs> it's like, you're playing a life service game and you've gotten life service, but for some reason you're still mad. Oh no, I cannot refund these nodes because they need the cluster to be connected. Uh, let's take these. Wait, let's take this out. To make this shadow. Then I can put this back in. Okay, just need one more point. Oh, let's teleport back to the Tree of Whispers. I was 50-50 about doing Season 3, but I'll start later and yes, Necro again. Your builds are the best. D4 has been slaughtered again with Season 3. It feels good. I do that. What can I say? Like, yes, sure, there are upsets. Yes, sure, the game ain't perfect. But honestly, I'm enjoying myself. And not only for content reasons, Chan. Because the reality is, again, if I wasn't doing this right now, I would be doing Pell World content and I would probably get a million views per video. Because I am, I am good at what I do, and this is not supposed to sound cocky, but I'm, I'm, I'm losing money playing this. But I love it. So what can I do? Does the pure summoner use Mendon Ring? You can use Mendon Ring with a pure summoner, but we're not there yet. You know, we're, we're slowly building in the direction. Give me, give me some time, sir. Give me some time. Okay, we get this build up. We need the damage multiplier. We can finally get rid of that one. We can get more damage multiplier. So we have all our, uh, we need, we need the. Two points in Golem right now. Good. Uh, then we're teleporting to the Altar of Terror. At the Altar of Terror. Oh, yeah, that's the Altar of Terror. Thank you. You have a build guide for this build? No, we just literally started leveling this, sir. <laughs> so we literally are starting to level this right now to then give you a proper guide breakdown. But in order to give you a proper guide breakdown, I mean, I roughly know what I want to do. So there's like no surprises for me. This is like as good as it is. But what I need to test is how efficient is it then truly with the seasonal mechanic and everything, right? Because only only because I know what I want to do doesn't mean that, you know, it works the way I want it to work. I mean, it does, but... So now we have the Golem, we have the Army of the Dead, we have a Reap, and we have uh, Sever. The only thing we're going to change right now is getting Reap out for a Curse, because then we get the Decrepify Curse as well, and the Decrepify Curse will essentially allow me to also reset the cooldown of Army of the Dead to always have Army of the Dead active, which is actually pretty damn nasty. Then we have to focus mainly on crit, because Army of the Dead is actually an explosion, so we're getting like more crit together and then things are going to be very very popping I need more time. 
As you notice, we're not really using Reeve ever, more or less. Wee wee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Had a moment there. I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good now. We're fine. Oh, did I find the Ravage Corp? I did. I'm not ready yet. So right now we're still using Kalen's Attic because then I don't have to worry about my shadow things. But honestly, we might have to probably at some point go for the shadow stuff. Because it's just it's just more efficient, even in the pure summoner. I mean, the pure summoner is still using like sever, and it's still using shadow things. Because end of the day, it's just more fun. No, oh, I I almost forget about the boss. That there's actually a boss coming. You know, oops. We have reached the point where we can start going for Hellbend Commander soon. There's more multiplicative damage for our mobs. Let's get that one too. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are level 27 after uh, one hour and seven minutes. Jeez. Okay, that's that's uh, speed run. Now yeah, that's that's pretty pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. Rookie numbers, yeah. The best part is, as soon as we hit World Tier Four, our leveling speed will go crazy, because we're essentially just gonna do Beast of Ice farming. Uh, the golem replaces the corpse handle and gives you more tanks exactly because the golem does essentially do the same while he is actually still a minion and he does provide us with more corpses so he has a multi-layered meaning and multi-layered use that does really help find the vajiri outpost oh yeah vajiri outpost was here I did five runs, but it takes so long to get the resources to fight him. Yes, Malphys is atrocious to get there. By the way, uh, YouTube, don't forget to press the like button on the stream. That would be appreciated. Chat, we have already, again, over 200 YouTube viewers. I, I want an applause for YouTube. But Twitch, you're not forgotten. To Yoshi with the 76 months. Uh, Kal-El, thank you for the seven raiders. Sorry, Kal-El, I mess missed your raid there. That's on me. Greetings to everyone. Happy to see you all enjoying Diablo still. Or just simply being here for the community. But I'm actually happy if you're enjoying Diablo 2 because honestly, the, the game still is very fun and doesn't deserve the level of hate it's getting. But hate gets clicks, you know how it is. Creators are, creators actually suck. I have to say this guys, <laughs> creators actually suck. We hadn't even been two days into the season that I saw the first Diablo 4 is busted posts again. And I was like, you know what? At least wait for a week, you know? At least wait a week before you before you start whining. Appreciate it. I feel like my robot is doing like reasonable amounts of damages this time. Oh no, where was the output? Ah, the, no, 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 ha, 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 Chan. Because last time, last time we searched so long for the outpost. I, I don't know if you had the same problem, guys, but last time we looked so long for this until we noticed, yeah. Why don't we just go, go here? For World Tier 3, what level is needed? You should be at least level 35 before it doesn't make much sense. And with 35 to 40, you have the easiest way through the Capstone Dungeon. 35 is usually only for experienced players, so you should you should do it if you already um, know how to play your class rather well. 
Because if you go earlier, you might end up at the point where you are not able to beat the final boss. Uh, with minions, I will probably wait for level 38, if I'm honest. Uh, just to make my... my um, Capstone Dungeon experience a bit smoother. But I haven't decided yet completely. Boom, 28. We're so quick, Chan. We had the Blood Golem, so we could now, instead of the Taunting, choose the Blood Golem because the Blood Golem does more damage and it's actually a significant increase in damage. So it's quite nice to have him. Like here, Healthy Blood Golem gains 25% damage reduction and 50% damage increase. And that makes him essentially go like... Mm, quite nice. Bloodlands versus Bone Spear. Which one is more powerful, you'd say? Uh, right now, the Bloodlands has been having like really nice one up, but the full Bone Spear, Bone Spear, just Bone Spear, Bone Spear, the same old Bone Spear. Powerful. Have you seen the short of doing Solo Durio with Firefly combo? Yes, but I'm, I'm not impressed. I mean, it's possible, sure, but still, you're going to do it four times faster yourself. <laughs> Wait, where do you place the runestone? And yeah, there you go. So you're gonna you're gonna still do it faster yourself. I mean, it's it's nice that the it's nice that the thing is able to do it, but it's not like oh wow, like the 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 you know he can do everything alone. I don't have to ever do anything myself again. Right? That's, I mean, that's that's not what it is. Where's the Vault and Havazar? The Vault and Havazar is there. Wait, Havazar dungeons are... Yeah, I can actually do this. Great. I can do the dungeon I'm looking for for the attack speed. Oh, cool. Uh, you need to taunt. Other minions will die. Not if I do so much damage that it doesn't matter. No, that's the whole plan. What, what, if, what if you just do so much damage that it doesn't matter? Huh? 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 Uh, by the way, let me take uh, safeguard support and put it on the gyrate. Not while I'm in town. I like to see the Construct vs. Duriel more as a statement against all the hated skills. Yeah, sure, that's true. So Construct vs. Duriel is just nice to see in terms of, look, it's possible. You know, stop stop hating so much. Possible. Not while I'm in town. I mean, right now, my gyrate is level 8, guys. So I am level 28 and my gyrate is level 8. Obviously, because I could buy a lot of stone caches, so that got to be set up front, right? Usually, your gyrate wouldn't be this high. I, I crafted like 30 stone caches, but let me, let me get my little XP boost. I mean, right now, I was planning six hours to world tier four, and I wasn't sure if it's going to work. But I'll be damned. It seems like possible. I'll, I'll be damned twice over. But it does seem possible. Trav, good to see you there. Very much welcome and good to have you back. Fiendish folio. Can't, can't resist getting elemental cores. Can't resist clearing conduit beacons. I mean, that's what we have them for, right? To be cleared, to kill all these elites. We get even more elemental cores. Oh, wow. Yep. How could I resist this, Chan? So right now, we're already at the level where it would make sense to, um, to trash... Trash Reeb for the bonus cooldown reduction, so I could just do cooldown reduction things. Okay, let's see. Um... Racers, corpse skills and macabre skills. So why not? No, ring all curse skills better. So we could already go for. I need I need two more levels to really do that. I think. Oh, someone is doing the son of Malphus. Let's go. John, a herald of Malphus. Just died. Hardcore barb forty three. Yikes! I'm sorry to hear that. Hardcore players hate fun.
See, with, Ar with Army of the Dead, he's just going, like, really nicely down, and he can't actually do anything against my, uh... Can't do anything against my tiny robots. Oh, no, he killed... He, ki he killed... He killed my... He killed my skeletons. Why you do this to me? Well, that's a ring. Each each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy, they gain attack speed. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Streamer RNG. Hacking. Definitely hacking. What we're still missing though is resource support and that actually makes me quite, quite sad because I want resource support right now. Ryan. Oops, I, I got off track. So where's my, where's my resource support please? Harold gives a notification. Harold gives this white circle ping on the map when he's there. Um, just like it has been in the Blood Harvest when someone was doing the, the middle event in the Blood Harvest. So, that's what you're looking for. You think 8K will become the new standard for video? No, not, not in a long time. I mean, but most, most people just do, who, who actually has a 4K TV, right? I mean, like, most people don't have a 4K TV. And most, um, streaming websites don't even offer you 4K viewing experience. Unless you pay extra. Right? What's your take on the cosmetic shop? Too expensive. Way too expensive. Like, I like the skin shop. I like the skins. I don't mind if anyone buys skins. But the skins cost... Like, one skin costs 25 bucks. I'm sorry. I'm not I am not paying 25 for a skin. There is no world where that will ever be happening. So if if there's five bucks per skin, I mean, you, you also have to consider it doesn't cost like skins don't cost money to make. Obviously, there's a designer that's being paid for this, right? But like it's it's not like they're they're making a physical product, right? This is a digital product that's being made by a person, and the amount of time it takes is not ginormous. Simply, it's not. Sorry. Uh, so kind of like it just doesn't feel like good to pay twenty five bucks for that. I mean, if you if you want to like be my guest, uh, do yourself a favor, just get it done. But I like yeah, it's just too expensive. I I won't I won't support in that way. There's nothing wrong with supporting in that way. If you if you do really like that, if you if you love the skins, I mean, why why wouldn't you? Simple question: Why wouldn't you? If you if you just like the skins. Today's the new D4 patch. No. There is there is no notification. There was an accidental patch release before, but no one knows if we're gonna get a patch today. If we were getting a patch today, they would have announced it yesterday already, but they didn't. So I wouldn't count on anything. I also don't know what you want patched at the moment. I mean, the latest patch fixed all the issues, kind of. They're, most, I mean, there, there's bugs, yes, but but like the actual issues with a robot leveling slow and all that stuff, like got kind of fixed right now. So I don't know what you what you want to see further patched currently. But no, right now, right now, it doesn't seem like we're getting one. Now, you never know about their surprise patches, okay? So that, that's like something, like, maybe. Oh, maximum minion life, Chan. I told you if I find a ring with maximum minion life, I have to take it because maximum minion life is still such a mandatory thing to get. Love to see the marketing data that says why it's better to make skins expensive. There, there is potentially something there. 
a reason like making skins feel more exclusive like you actually get something for your money's worth i don't know yada yada yada, yada. there's there's probably something there right you think diablo 4 is missing endgame it's not a question if i think that or not it's a factual thing but uh i think you have to accept that the most fun part in diablo right now is actually the leveling experience i mean i mean for me for me that's also why i'm making a new character right now i really enjoy the leveling in diablo 4. i know people love to get to the end game but you know what the actual leveling is is quite fun I mean, as endgame is core, leveling is also core. Right? We need more. Yeah, sure, we need more. We're getting leaderboards. Venture further into the vault with Eujan. Yes, sir, Eujan. Further into the vault shall be ventured. Let's make piles of poop everywhere. So everyone that comes out just steps into a pile of poop. Oh wow, that's that like that chest is that chest is popping, Chad. When I don't oh my golem, guys, my golem has a chance to reduce his active cooldown. Listen, Chad, listen. There's a world. There's a there's a chance. It reduces his active cooldown. Okay, we got we got this. We got this. Everyone, come together in a group hug. Bring it in. Okay, I should take my amulet right now and probably uh, put the the skeleton warrior thingy on it just to have more skeleton warriors, right? Also, I am kind of full equipment wise, so I really want to just go go out and hand this all in quickly. How powerful is the bloodline spill compared to bone spear? Equal, if not more. Okay, here, Abhorn Decrepify. We're currently trying to also get Decrepify to use it. Because if Decrepify gets used the way I want it to, I can essentially spam it. You know, I'll, I'll be able to just uh, continuously use Decrepify. Oh, wait, you're already getting Malphus here? Nah, we weren't getting Malphus this early. Yeah. Be ready. This was just... Ah, yeah, he was just summoning the son of Malphus, I think, here, right? Some heralds, some sons, some... some Mambo Bambo. Uh, did you bring up your reasoning of Blood Surge versus Sever? Oh, Sever is very simple. We're playing summons. Sever deals 2% increased damage for each minion you have up and cast. So I have 7 minions right now. I get 14% damage multiplier. So we're essentially like we're going for pure summoner. And pure summoner with Sever just feels really good. Because Sever in the beginning just gets so nicely multiplied up and then you do some some shadow bonuses and you just end up having like a very high damage dealing Sever. This feels good. I mean, Surge also very good, but, but Surge doesn't like profit from minions in the beginning in any way. Um, I, I, like apart from just getting more, more things, but Se Sever just feels on theme, you know? Uh, Blood Artisan's Chest and Litless Wall are both uh, Lord Zir and um, Grigor the Gavanic Saint. I did drop three Litless Walls in the open world, though. Yeah, like, look at, look at this. Look at this. It's working, Chan. Have my minions beat him up. Beat him up, minions. Get him, boys.
Army of the Dead, let's go! This is this is why you wanna that's why I wanna play minions so you can you can yell these things. The team effort! Give him hell! What while Ayujan is having like a stroke in the background? It's like oh! I have a heavy stroke there. Okay, we have to destroy those gloves. And then we have to go to the Codex of Power and enchant some things. We also have to level up this ring because 7% more minion life, chat. is 7% more minion life. Okay, Eujan, what now? Quickly. We must leave this place quickly. And then he just vanishes. <laughs> God, he, he was just like, we need to leave this place. And then he just went away. <laughs> like, okay, bro. Is the for Uber Boss 2 or Nightmare Pushing? It's even better on bosses. Bloodlands is even better on bosses. Has always been like Bloodlands is insane for bosses. Oh yeah, he's gonna open the loom for us now. Mm. Enter the vault of the loom in a second. In a second, sir. Give me, give me a hot moment. Oh, doorbell? Uh, no, I think my wife is there. Don't actually have to run. That cannot be salvaged. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to be taking the amulet that I have. And we're going to slap here the triple blood getters. Let's go. Oh, that's the man from, from electricity. Oh, that's actually for me. Upgrading all 10 stones you pass, it's so easy. It goes so fast, Miguel. Honestly, uh, like if you have one char where every stone is 10, the second char goes so fast. Trust me. So here, this one, like, look at this. I'm like here. <laughs> Eight seven six seven six 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 seven six 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 like Okay, let's rush through this. And let's get three more three more skellies. Yeah, so many skellies now. You tried Varshan at 75. I mean, Varshan at 75, I, I'm not surprised that you're that you're like having troubles. Uh, Necro, Necro starts doing Varshan solo around 80. Uh, the Paragon points that you're getting makes a huge difference, to be honest. So you can do the Bloodlands build without the Mutilator plate. You just have to change thingies. I mean, if you don't have the Mutilator plate, you essentially have to find another source of Fortify, which in this case would be going for... Um, Which in this case would be going for a blood orb fortify consumption uh, glyph. There, there's one that does that. It's usually the one you take then. Sunshine can fortify as well. Yeah, but you you do have a paragon glyph for that. That that does like the perfect job. So there's there's no hurt there. I mean, the Sunnishal can do fortify, but you're kind of like bound to use others that are more efficient. And I don't want to do that. It's fun that they actually put the chests in here now. Also, yes, me and my minions, we're just staying in the middle, guys. We, we don't we don't even bother about leaving here. Just stay in the middle, and if, if anything comes, we'll pull it together with my golem. Right, get it taunted. The only downside of the golem is that compared to corpse tendrils, he doesn't actually pull together. Right, so so the, the, the golem does like his oh, taunt, but, but the taunt is just that, a taunt. So if someone is a ranged character, he, he stays a ranged character, right? 
Open, open the chest. Open the chest. Give me the chest. We're getting so many legendaries right now. Love that. Okay, what is this one? Iron Maiden is now a darkness skill. Oh, useless. I mean, at least my golem can reset his ability, right? Okay, when we're finally done with this, we can level faster. I mean, we're kind of wasting time here right now. The grind from 1 to 60 is so hard for me. Honestly, like right now, we're in for one hour and 30 minutes. And this is the level we have achieved already. So putting putting down some decent time. I mean, we're trying to finish the seasonal quest so I don't have to bother with it anymore. It's like I always try to finish this as soon as possible in World Tier 1. So you just got it knocked out of the way and you don't have to look at it anymore. And then you just kind of like, you know. Pass straight forward. Was the best build for 42 to 100 uh probably the bone spear spirit i would go for right now because that one is so easy to be achieved 30 durio runs and nothing at all i got my flicker step that i wanted my banished lords and i'm, I'm kind of like i'm good like I, I'm, I'm not planning to do much durio this season i mean if it turns out that i need to do it for the leaderboard maybe more but i've done like six or seven so far and that's also the extent of how much i'm willing to do I'm not ready yet. okay we need the we need the commander minions don't die thingy because that one is so perfect I'm not ready yet. you get the butcher's cleaver from from the from the tree boss a uh, varshan is it actually varshan or is it varshan how do you pronounce that? For me, it's always Varshan. But is it the, the high note on the A? Second one, Varshan. So so the, the one where you where you sound like sophisticated. Okay, Varshan. Okay, yeah, see, finally got it. For their... Oh, God. Another one. For t people start making fun of me again. Okay, you deal increased shadow damage with... <sighs> robbery. Varshan. <laughs> I'm a Varshan person myself. I like it. Good old Sean. You should try Pure Summoner too. Pure Summoner can easily carry you to 100. You are just not so for example my my blood build and my bone build can do tier 90 dungeons at level 85 to 90 already. Okay? Whereas the I just went into the same portal twice. Whereas pure summoner will just simply not be able to do that. Shadow Spirit is 600% on the emulate. Well, that's that's a video that was made before the season, my friend. You know? That, that Bone Spirit build was made before the season. So that's where we thought that Shattered Spirit is an offensive aspect. I mean, no one could know that Shattered Spirit is a resource aspect before the release of the season. Howdy, Saint it. Yeah, generally, like, Pure Summoner is good. By the way, guys, that was the guy from the Electricity Company. And I'm finally getting my, um... I'm finally getting my... My solar panels are working now. Yay! He, like, they had to, like, change the meter and do some things with the meter. And now, now I can... I can finally activate them. I mean, it's winter, but still... I get everything running. I'll produce electricity. So I can soon like I can soon check on the app how much electricity I'm using here. We already figured this out. So when I when I turn on everything in my office, I, I kind of use up like two to three kilowatts. Like like our house consumption is like at five hundred or, or one kilowatt. And and whenever 
Whenever I turn everything on, it's kind of like, oh yeah, I mean, you wanted you wanted to use all the electricity in the household? No problem. I I got this covered. It's a me, Ponyhoff. So right now we're not using a basic skill anymore, Chan. We've already gotten to the point where basic skill is un unnecessary and we don't actually want it. What's better, Bloodlands or Bone Spirit? Bloodlands is a bit more consistent because the build is, I mean, truly insane. Bone Spear, it, huh? Bone Spear is very good. And I like it more from a fun perspective. Both builds are great though, and we, we need more details for the leaderboard before I can make predictions, guys. Right? This is, this is very important, like that before we really make predictions on the leaderboard and what's going to be strong there, we need more information. Because we only have basic information and, and a lot of this information seems to be also scuffed and not like completely correct. So it's not easy to make an educated guess there how it will turn out. So no basic skills being used, Chan. And that's my favorite way to actually play any kind of necro. We're not using basic skills. You got you got pony in infinite happiness lube. And we're essentially we're producing essence over my minions, hitting. Doing corpse explosions, and that's why we have to put also our next two ranks in corpse explosion produces more essence. And then we're using our curses too, together with corpse explosions to essentially reduce the cooldown of Army of the Dead. As you can see here already, by the way, Chad. So Army of the Dead cooldown is being reduced by our curse together with our corpse explosions. And that makes, make, makes me able to use it more often. Oh, that's a two-handed weapon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's a one-handed weapon. Thank you very much. I hate it. It's actually better. Okay, double, double, Chad. Double. Thanks for the fast answer. But now I'm trying to read the chat as much as I can. So if you're already, you know, committing time to my stream, I'll, I'll see that I can commit time to you as well. We're kind of shitty to not to, right? Well, the best part about Decrepify, by the way, Chan, it also reduces the cooldown of the Golem. So if the Golem can taunt, well, with Decrepify, you also reduce his cooldown so he can taunt more often. Okay, let's see how Malphus feels with a full summoner. He summons the Fire Pillar. I need to destroy the Fire Pillar. No, oh, the, 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 the poison pillar. Oh, God. I want to say the poison pillar I can leave up, and then he just shit on me there. <laughs> hey, child, the poison pillar we can leave up. I pooped on. Ignore the other traps. Just have your minions poop on him. Yep, look 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 at how smooth this is going. I mean obviously he's meant to be easy in the first time you're meeting him, but it doesn't change the fact that this is going just surprisingly well. Hold on Cold's journal, let's go. Kill the loom. Killing the loom. Oh. Not killing the loom. Missed the keystone. I need anticlimactic, like barely in the game, already killing the loom. Boom. I saved Sanctuary, guys. So so technically from this point on, you have the saved Sanctuary already and you're done. <laughs> right? I mean, that's it. Sanctuary's dead. Like, you, you saved everyone. Good. So we're almost ready for the capstone dungeon. That's the that's the crazy part for me right now. 
But I need I need goddamn like su like supports. Where is you know what we should do? We should try to kill the, the PvP bosses. Yeah, yeah, let's do that quickly. Because PvP bosses, like, they give so much experience. So we'll do this. It's always, like, my favorite thing to do in, in the, like, during the season. Uh, during the season, during leveling. When you when you get these at the beginning. When do you capstone for World Tier 4? 55. It's coding. 55 is usually when I aim for it. And it can be tricky with minions. Because, like, obviously, if I'm squishy, minions are squishy too. So that can lead to problems. And there you need to ask yourself if like you want to do it 55 or maybe like at 58. But my usually go for is 55. Your question, scoundrel leathers, I'm using a poison trap tank. Will the work or get Juk instead? A uh, Juk is really good. Like, do not underestimate how useful the Juggernaut is. From when I got World Tier 4, for example, I instantly put on Juggernaut and I was able to just tank about everything. It was actually, like, illegal how sturdy that made you. My cursor's green. My cursor's not only green, my cursor is also bigger. The reason for that is because I'm I'm like I'm losing in when there's all my minions running around. I actually need to make it a different color though. Right now, because so you go into gameplay options, graphics, cursor color, and we're gonna make it yellow because yellow is a good contrast color to the minions. Because I tend to use my minions uh, with a green on green, I just lose my my cursor. <laughs> Okay, there's no, there's the boss. I was like saying, where's the boss? I just completed story and I'm 41. Uh, what should I do next? Uh, you should go world tier three if you haven't done so. Or you mean story? You mean the campaign or, or like, what do you mean with story? Usually this one can be a struggle for the necro. Not with the army of the dead, Shan. And my, my, my bunch of skeletal minions. I mean, look how we're just beating this guy up right now. Pretty sure we would do even more damage if we would use Shadow Blight instead of Kalen's Addict, but we kind of decided that we wanted to use Kalen's Addict. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We wanted to again. And we need the points in there, but we also need the points in there. tricky to get all the points i can actually yoink that point out and put it in there yeah, that's good okay, let's hand this in ah campaign first playthrough uh, so if you have done the campaign right now what you're going to do is you're going to gather all the altars of lilith and you're going to try to finish your renown uh yeah altars of lilith and renown are very important because these are permanent buffs that you'll never lose again Usually recommendation. But you should do it in World Tier 3 instead of World Tier 2 because it's going to be a waste of XP doing it in World Tier 2. So yeah, do do the renowned thing in World Tier 3, kind of. Hey, Sneaky, good to see you there. The Juggernaut is cheat code, yes, because you're just getting def defense you shouldn't have. My disobedience is in nowhere as good as the Juggernaut thingy. Yeah, so the thing is, in World Tier 3, you get more experience and you're essentially wasting your time in World Tier 1 because the experience gain is not there anymore with, like, level 41. It just feels bad. Respect mode, but I would like an armory. Uh, their mistake right now is a pretty glaring one. And you want to know what their mistake is, Chad? That they are believing they need to do everything at the same time. So what Blizzard does right now is they think... They need to give us a, like a full armory. 
But we don't need a full armory. You know what I need? I need just a way to save my skill pages. I don't want an armory for my gear. I need a way to save my different skill pages and I need a way to save my different paragons. That's what I need. The gear I can change, the, like that finger snippy, right? But saving a whole paragon board, 225 points. That's what I need yesterday. The rest is, is like just quality of life, right? When I'm able to like change my gear with one click, sure, that's cool. But it's a nowhere mandatory for me to in any way be happy about things. Okay, let's let's do this here for experience. I mean again, overworld is just the experience burner. What's the gameplay loop with this build right now? It's a uh, curse, curse first, always, right? And after the curse, uh, you you just start blasting with whatever you have available. A curse, so you reduce everything, start blasting with corpse explosions to refill my essence, then use my... Severs for maximum damage. Well, someone just summoned the Herald of Melphis. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming, brother. I didn't want this yet. It's too soon, but here we are. Done. Got a helmet with basic skill damage reduction. Okay, before we go on, I need to hand in my tree of whisper, okay? Sir, I appreciate you helping here, but I need to hand in my whisper. I'm coming back in a second though, okay? Is the armory thing in the game already? Nope. Uh, Diablo for loot fillers? No, I don't think we need loot fillers. I'll be absolutely honest with you, and I think loot filters are completely useless considering that We just need better loot. I mean, if the loot is better, the loot filters are unnecessary. That's at least how I look at it. Little armor, crowd control. That one can stay for now. Mm, we'll get this maxed out, that maxed out, this maxed out. So now it's time for Hellbent Commander, right? We get this one maxed out. That's the damage we need. And we need Hellbent Commander to boost the damage of our minions to be more useful. There's no AOZ. No, 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 no. We are getting leaderboards. So is the armory uh, get, like so? They're working on an armory. That's that's a fact. Just FYI, in case you didn't know this, they're they're, they're like working on the armory. They they they're already confirmed that they're working on something. Uh, that the team is actively having that in their sides. But w what does that mean? Like you know, they might as well have said nothing because that that doesn't help us in any capacity. Like you know, it, it might come it might come before the expansion. It might come after the expansion. It might never come. And this at this point is like such a non-information right now. But I love how 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 sturdy this dude is. But how much we're also giving him hell. By the way, we have to stand close to our minions to actually get their damage boosted, in case you didn't know this, Chad. Very important. That's how Hellbang Commander works. Oh, I think there is a there's a Ravage Corpse. Uh-huh. Didn't actually see that last time. By the way, if it's unused for you to play with basic skills, I don't recommend playing Summoner. 
that play style is confusing to many because they're like, but but how am I, you know, how am I going to produce resource if I if I don't have my basic skills? It was like, you know, this this is the way how you play Necro. Basic skills are overrated. You get debated. Basic skills overrated. It really fast used to it though. Deposit the Venomous modes. Venomous? What a nice name. Okay, we are in one hour and 51, ladies and gentlemen. Officially one hour and 51 in. We are level 35, so we're actually about to be able to do the capstone dungeon, but I think we should go for 38. No core skill, neither basic skill. Yeah, I, I kind of like my core skills, uh, hot and steamy. And otherwise, what, what skill would I use? I could use bone prison right now if I wanted to. But I ain't feeling bone prison pretty much. Why are we taking rings here mostly? It's either weapons or rings, but I'm trying to get max of minion life rings to just make my... Uh, time in the capstone dungeon a bit better. Here, maximum minion life, another ring, so that's perfect. This is gonna just like make staying in the capstone dungeon better. Because now we can yoink this one out of the ring. So this one gets out of the ring. Then we're gonna take the next ring here. That one on top. Mm. Oh, that's a disobedience choker. That's quite nice. That also means we need to take our boots to put the bonus skeletons on that. And that's a max roll disobedience. A max roll disobedience is just too good to ignore, right? Yours is 53 so far. Yeah, we have like, we're in for two hours and the goal is to be level 60 in uh, six hours, Chan. Six hours to 60. That's the new mantra. Okay. I think it should be possible and I'm I'm really pumped to actually see if I can get it done. Because, you know, it's it's a little little challenge run. And I think it's like, you know, the, the image of the... Oh, he's struggling. The image of the uh, Summoner Necker going to be polished a little bit. The Summoner Necker is not as bad as people, like, make it out to be. It's actually quite, quite amazing. Gloves. Oh, is, is a Vault now, uh, Nightmare Vault? Uh, like, like, yeah, Vault is, is, um, Whispered, right? A Whisper Vault. A Whisper Vault. Vault of Ink. Yep, we'll do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm, Chad. My first Vault, ladies and gentlemen. I think before you do the Capstone Dungeon, you should anyways, like, do two to three Vaults just to get, like, killer loot, right? Because if you do two to three Vaults before you enter the Nightmare Dungeon, I think you should be, like, almost, like, fully geared out. Right? Lord High Nightmares, depends on what you're doing, I think. But yes, it definitely does slow down. Uh, if you're going for the pure summoner, if you go for the mix of uh, summoner and shadow damage, you actually don't slow down that much. And right now we're using Army of the Dead and we're using Kalan's Addict. Technically, if I actually say goodbye to Kalan's Addict, I would increase my clearing speed uh, by, by a margin. Well, we could also, instead of uh, Sever, we could be using Blight. So these are two choices you can actually go for, Sever or Blight. Both are... Oh, godness, I need to keep these and I need to enchant the other boots, actually. So Blight is also, like, a good choice in general. Because Blight hires the damage of your minions. Gotta choose like what you want to do there, like you know, slight slight higher minion damage or like just just boosted damage on on your cool thing.
Do you plan to use pure minions until level 100, Tommy? We'll see how smooth it goes, but right now that's kind of like the plan we're having for this necro. I mean, it's the pure summoner necro. Um, so we're we're planning to do a video series on this as well for the people that are interested to see the strength level. Uh, we'll try to not hybridize too much into shadow. Well, we'll obviously be using some shadow thingies because they're just too too good to ignore. But I want to see how, how fast and far I can level pure summoner as well. Uh, we get another skill here that's going to be now interesting point where I put this one. I mean, technically, I should start putting these skill points now into Corpse Explosion because right now that is your secondary damage you're doing, right? And that's also why why it just doesn't make sense to play Kellen's Attic because the bonus attack speed is, like, not worth it in any way. But we might be playing Cult Leader, so... We're having Kellen's Addict on the menu. While still playing Shadow. Oh, minions, you can do this. There's a... Definitely need more lucky hit chance. I feel like our lucky hit chance is struggling. Oh, by the way, I completely forget that you actually need to look out for your trap thingies. <laughs> Oops. I'm, I'm just zooming through this right now, like, not looking at the trap thingies because I completely forgot we actually went for the, like, you know, we went into a vault. I mean, I took two stacks of warding because we have, like, a gazillion pearls, so it shouldn't matter. Uh, have you seen anything with the construct that will work with your minions, uh, with your own survivability? I mean, like, if, if you go for the Ring of Mendel, for example, then your minions get... Like, if I get the Flesh of Adrenaline, for example, then my minions would also become stronger. So, that's, for example, something to consider. That the Flesh of Adrenaline actually does help there tremendously in that regard. But realistically... You could also, like, just shield yourself. But mostly, we're probably going to use the minion again for bonus vulnerable, for um, for resource production. Haha, uh -huh. have all my minions tank. <laughs> so, I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to go for right now, as you can see. Like, it's, it's, it's like, we'll be spontaneous. Okay, we're 36. When did we get 36? Jeez. I mean, Capstone Dungeon at 38 seems like right now easier than ever. How's the build going so far? Uh, we're sub two hours to to World Tier Three, so we're we're, we're how's the build going? Very good. I'm not ready yet. Beyond good. But the first part of the game, I was not expecting anything different from this build. It was always meant to be this good. What we still need to do, though, is we need to do one single dungeon in Havazar to essentially get our... final... Oh, did I, uh, do I have actually points in Hoot Flash right now? I forget to put points in Hoot Flash, right? Oops. Yeah, I will have to double check that. I don't think I actually put points into Hoot Flash. No, I didn't. Oops. I mean, I'm more surprised that I didn't put points into Hoot Flash, but we're still, like, working so well on the corpse consistency because that's usually my way to make corpses, right? But it's actually working on, like, yeah. Done. 
It's a, it's a ring with maximum essence per active minion. He <laughs> So much loot, Chan. So much loot. I'm level 90 with 10k life but only 5k armor and I take much damage and can't get any better armor pieces. You need the juggernaut aspect right now, then you instantly get a lot of armor. But yeah, 5k armor at level 90 is like nothing. Like, sir, you 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 need to pump those numbers up. These are these are rookie numbers in, in every regard. Like, that's really not what we want to see there. It's like horrible, horrible times 10. We need attack speed. That's important. We need that disobedience though. Stolen from it. It's better thingies. That is a better piece of pants. That's better boots, but they don't do anything for me. That's a ring that wouldn't have max minion life, but we get more essence. And I kind of like that because I can get more max essence net total. Um... Okay, bad, 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 bad. Bad. We're gonna go to you. That one goes over here. We're gonna rip out the aspect. We're gonna rip out the aspect. Then we're gonna take the amulet. I'm gonna put the skeletons up. We're gonna not put juggernauts on there again. The Juggernauts is even the seasonal journey, so you should be able to get Juggernaut right now very easy. So we're going to put Disobedience on there to just get more armor. And we're going to take my two-handed weapon to... That's a 420. That should be nice to get my minions cooking. I'm going to take the weapon and we're going to upgrade it. Four times. Sell the boots in a second. Get in there. Oh, no, did we forget to? We didn't enchant the minions yet. No. See, like, how, how much you can actually achieve with the Codex of Powers is crazy, right? Headhunter, thank you for the 28 centuries of summer numbers. Headhunter, thanks for being the first sub this hour. Chat, if you did bring your subscriptions, just, just use them. Also, uh, don't forget here, YouTube, to like the stream. Thank you for, for being here with me. Let's get some gauntlets here because we need new gauntlets. Potentially better gauntlets than I have right now. Okay, that's blind. Sever. That boots. Yeah. Not while I'm in town. Okay, that's hoot flash, and I'm gonna yoink another point out of here for hoot flash as well. Uh, we're level thirty-seven. I think I could just attempt the capstone dungeon. I'm honest with you. I don't, I don't see like where the where the problem would be, but let's check if there's anything in the overworld that I could be attempting beforehand to maybe squeeze out another level. Now, right now, I would say just straight up into the capstone dungeon. Uh, we're going to go for Curvet Shot to upgrade our things. Level 37 capstone. I think we got this. Can't even do tier 60 Nightmare Vault because I just take too much damage. Yeah, armor is the most important to get up. There's a reason you want a two-handed sword. Uh, well, the two-handed sword gives me critical strike damage plus, where the scythe gives me life on kill. So, technically, a sword is always better than a scythe. The two-handed scythe is always useless. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like, when you do the capstone dungeon, you want to just, you know... There's no, there's no reason to not go in as sturdy as possible. I mean, we're what at 2,000 HHH armor. We get the potion upgraded. My life is a bit low. I don't like this, but we get more max minion life, so that's good. You get a build for a link for this? No, we're we're just throwing it together on the fly right now. You'll get a more more adapted, in depth, fun, good build link build guide uh, when we are actually you know putting it proper together. Stone caches, nah. Let's let's see what we have stone cache wise though. So we got fortify safeguard arcing. So we're still using safeguard here. We had swift support to be faster. We could do efficiency support, so I do more crits. But we have electrocution support as well. 
that's a chance to stun. That's kind of nice. Devastation just would help me deal more damage. Mockeries for taunt. Oh, we get resource support finally. So I think uh, resource support needs to land on the gyrade. Together with swift. And focus fire can have the safeguard. And the mockery. Well, we just need the no, mockery. Yeah, mockery. And this one can have swift and... Let's see, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not while I'm in town. Off to the capstone dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Put your bets in. Do you think we can do it at level 37 with minions? Or is this going to be a horrible experience? The only horrible thing that would actually... Well, well, actually, you know, one thing we're missing is the aspect. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be reasonable, chat. I said we wanted to get an aspect first. And that is the offensive aspect of the... Um... Here, Unyielding Commander. So that is Faceless Shrine and Havazar. Yeah, let's let's do that one quickly. No, you know, do not give Geppetto your heart. Do not give Geppetto your heart, sir. Why not one-handed source and a source for cooldown? Uh, because I do already have, like... The Crapify for cooldown. But the most important thing is that a two-handed weapon together with Sever gives you a net total higher damage because you're using a two-handed weapon. One-handed weapon gives you better attack speed, and there's nothing wrong with a one-handed weapon for better attack speed, but, like, while leveling, two-handed is usually better for just more booms. You have a build recommendation for me, Demalius. I mean, Demalius, you can use your the Bone Spear Spirit. Uh, that We have a video on that. Or you could actually be using the build we're having here right now. I mean, we just started this stream two hours ago. Uh, there's a whole YouTube where you can sift through. Okay, let's get the unyielding commander first. Oh, we need to summon more minions. Thank you. I'm sad that we didn't find skeletal mages or that skeletal mages are also not in the... Codex of Powers. Okay, 200 weapon just allows me to do a higher damage output. Like, one hand a lot of things. My, my little robot is insane. Doing nasty things. As you notice, we also don't have a source of vulnerable right now, guys. So we might actually swap over to Iron Golem for the time being. To have the Iron Golem actually be our source of vulnerable. So we finally have a source of vulnerable. I need like better sources of vulnerable as a Necro. That's for sure. You felt your first attempt in tier 4. Uh, Chemp Barb said heart. Yap. Yep. The Flash Marauders. They are nasty. They will eat you alive. That's why I have my golem, because my golem goes in and he's like, nope, we don't care. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Can I actually use him as a nice little flesh shield? Oh, sorry, I only saw the chest next to you, ma'am. Uh, this was, was not intended. Please do apologize. Is bone golem better or blood golem? Well, the bone golem gives you more... Corpses? The Iron Golem makes things vulnerable if he just doesn't, like, one-hit things. Do -do -do. You know. Is there any way to get Malignant Hearts? I usually do everything that is Whisper-related and you get Malignant Hearts. Because if you do Whispers, often these Whisper monsters appear in World Tier 4. And there you get, like, more Malignant Hearts. So, generally, yeah. Uh, Legion events help, World Bosses help, and Whispers in general help. Because whenever one Whisper is done, so any 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 Whisper thing, um, there's a chance that, you know, the Malignant Monsters pop out. So that's actually the, the secret trick to it. One thing they fixed, by the way, Chan. Uh, finally, the... The goddamn dudes are actually making corpses again. Because there was something broken about the corpses that your guys were producing. 
And that is now better. Thumbs up for that, Blizzard. Because your skeletal reapers were not producing, like in season two, the corpses they were supposed to be producing. It was a really weird era that, like, how does this happen, right? How, how do you screw up the most basic thing, like, that, that one of the most basic mechanics works? But it was... Kind of sad. Also running bold build now, but which stats do you need on a two-handed size? I mean, you you, you do want uh, critical strike. Critical strike uh, with uh, bone, critical strike damage, critical strike damage with bone skills, and that to be followed up by vulnerable, for example, close damage, uh, intelligence, whatever you find there. Are you still bugged? Well, I can just only go by feeling deals, and right now they're making more corpses than they did in season two. I'm not saying it's not bugged. I'm just like going from the mere, this is how it feels perspective because it felt horrible. When in season two, they were literally not producing any corpses, more or less. And now I'm having always enough corpses. So make out of that what you think. Hello, American speaking German guy. It is English. We're speaking the English. Save the prisoners. Wait, free brown prisoner? I only had to free one? <laughs> it was it was weird. Like you, you were actually not able to finish this event, by the way. There this this used to be bugged for a couple of seasons. I think they fixed it now, right? Still not the most worthy event to do because the enemy spawn rate is relatively low in general, but hey, at least at least my minions are are just clapping everything. The Shaco yesterday, does it fit into the S tier necro build? Shaco fits into the bone necro, but not in the blood necro. The blood necro needs all the aspects. Do you think uh, we will get a new character in D4? Yes, with the expansion. I mean, that's already confirmed. There, There's like... <laughs> I, I don't it doesn't matter what I think it's already confirmed by the way where's my potion call out Chad where's my potion call out let's go minions need some love hey minions have gotten now to level 38 in two hours and 13 minutes while I also finished the seasonal mechanic well tier three will even be faster so our tempo has been nothing but staggering at this point. Oh, there's actually a boss in this dungeon. Yikes. I forgot. Oh, is it the lightning lady? Please don't tell me it's the lightning lady. She's so annoying. All my boys hate the lightning lady. Level 38. Ding, 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 ding. Dagger. Okay, we get that, that, there, then, thy, there, this, then, then, this, then, that, 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 and boom. That one is a, like a slight higher damage, so so it's it's like good for my shadow shebangs. Right? Murder Dole, thank you for the 28 months of support. Murder Dole, great to see you there. Welcome and good to have you with the Knights of the Round Stable. Let's actually take this one for bonus stuns because that stagger and boss is just way too good. Yeah, it's her, Chad. It's Mother's Judgment. I was fearing it's her, but look at the damage my dudes are doing, Chad. Screw you. Yep. Chunked. Chunked. Minions crazy. Okay, ladies and gents, let's go finally to the Codex of Power upgrade, and then we do Capstone Dungeon, because now we get the coolest abilities. Guess I replaced a visit with Chaco. Yes. Yes. Order don't. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you for the 28 as well. Let's get it done.
Extraction, blah. You wanted to... Let's take the gloves. Codex of power. So, unyielding commander. While army of the dead is active, guys. Minions take 60% and 90% reduced damage. And that means that worst case scenario... They, I mean, first and foremost, they get a banger attack speed bonus too. But worst case scenario, whenever I meet one of these lightning enchanted vampire revenants, I'll just steamroll him due to that aspect. And that's like the secret sauce. That's the, the plan, right? Just steamroll him. What are they going to do? I need more time. Right now, six hours to world tier four seems possible, chat. I'm not going to lie. Then we'll just have to decide if we're going to go for Mendel or not Mendel or whatever. But I guess Mendel would be mandatory to play in this build regardless. Robbie, Minions, Golem. We're, we're finally starting to feel like a freaking army has just arrived, right? I mean, it's taken a while to get that feeling, but finally, like, <laughs> in, in Diablo 4, you're feeling like... You, you got this, Chan. No one is dying today. We're, ki we're killing everyone. No one is being left alive. Go stun, Golem. Go stun, Golem. And my Golem just goes in and continuously keeps him stunned, which is like very good. My other... I, I lost the skeleton, bro. Yep. Smooth. Smooth as butter, Chad. Couldn't, couldn't be smoother right now. Heal my lads. And we are now using our Decrepify to reduce the cooldown of our Army of the Den. So that when we're actually then fighting uh, one of the one of the like here double big guy again, right? When we're fighting two now, so we're double cursing them, making a lot of corpses. Get all my minions up. Attack speed bonus. So they take stun them again. All all dudes died. Summon them back. Summon them back. Summon them back. Stun Golem, taunting, Stun Golem, boom, explosions. Summon lads back again, one died. Curse, summon lad back again, one died. Boom. I don't think there's another one here, but let's double check. Can you use Bolt Spirit? Not with this build. Not with this build. Uh, this is the pure summoner that's essentially using the army of the dead. And we're going to be trying to boost the attack speed of our minions to also boost their damage quite nicely. Because the basic idea with this build is that your minions are the damage and not you. Uh, I will still use Sever because I like Sever as a skill and it's just kind of fun. So this is the pure minion Sever summoner. That's what we call him. And it's actually a menace. I mean, this is smoother than my Bone Spear playthrough right now. Is the Bloodlands better than the Bone Spear Spirit? Uh, it is definitely more consistent and it's better against bosses for sure. It might also be better in the total totality of... Um... <sighs> Come on, Brain, say it. Where was I going for with this sentence? Uh, it might be better for the... In the long run. Stun. 
I'm looking for more minion builds. Minion builds might not be popular, but I I tend to like promise at least one minion build per season. So you get something to play with. Because it feels bad to like completely ignore the minion play style. And also, it's fun leveling, so why wouldn't I give you one, Chad? You know, it is fun leveling. That one doesn't change. No matter how weak minions is, you can at least have fun like until I'd say like at least until level 80 where, where it then starts like slowing down. But I mean, even even until world tier four, you're never going to have the feeling that you're leveling slow. It's like one of the big advantages of minions. Oh, swing it, ding, 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 brother. I just didn't want to take my potion. I'm going to be fair. I got punished for being greedy on my potions. He hit me square in the face, chat. He swung around like, wee -oo. Took me out like a rotten ball. Go in, curse. So I'm hoping to get my army of the dead up right now because then my minions are just protected. 90% damage reduction, guys. Again, don't forget to decrepify. So we're getting the cooldown reduction go in. Boom, he gets beaten. Oh, that's a great sword. You know what? That could be a very high item power great sword. Can't wait to actually see that. Go stun. Go curse. Curse is 10 seconds, by the way. It's like, it's like a niche information to just keep in your mind. Like when you curse someone, you're good for 10 seconds until you have to recurse. Thomas, you've beaten everything up. So we got... Oh, wow. We can wear this equipment. Why are we getting equipment that we can wear? Usually you only get like non-wearable non equipment. See, this is like 535. This is 556. Yes. Just killed the butcher in a nightmare dungeon. That That's like my favorite part. When you make the butcher feel like he, he is not the hunter. He is the hunted. There should be an indicator above mobs to show if their curse slowed or something. Yes, that would be great. That would actually be fantastic. I mean, you know they're vulnerable, right? But there is definitely something missing in terms of the curse department. Th then again, like, it's only Necro that would need this. So, oh, wow, two-handed sword in, in uh, Legendary. So it's only Necker that would need it, so unlikely it will happen, right? It's such a such a niche request, essentially. Any scattered prisms for socketing? I think they can only be found from world bosses at this point, and I'm sorry to tell you this. I hope this is not like oh wow, level 40 guys and 567. <gasps> no, I can I I I'm I'm almost done with the capstone dungeon and I'd be able to put on that weapon. That would be such a damage boost. <gasps> Holy, that's a, that's a good pickup. Jeez Louise, uh, army of the dead, come on. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna be flying, Chan. I hope you're ready for this. So anyone that expected this to go this fast? Have you seen the Invisible Curator? I have not had the luck, luck to see the Invisible Curator. Okay, curse him, stun him. This will be a bit tricky because a lot of my damage is like um, localized damage and I am forced to like kind of hunt her down. Them. Like, do, do you notice how we're, like, barely running out of resource? That's because of, like, all the lads working, like, so well together. Oh, shit. He just, he just nuked my, most of my skeletons. Let's get him back up. Done it. I'm not ready 
Okay, we're almost done with this. I mean, that's like so. This fight is so easy with minions and and the golem. The golem actually makes this beyond simple because he just double kill, double kill. <laughs> oh, perfection! Like that is so nice. The golem makes this beyond simple because he just stuns everything, dude. This is so easy right now. Where's the challenge, guys? Is Necker the way to go this season? Yes. I mean, Necker is always the way to go. Well, what does it mean this season? I mean, Necker is perfect for the vaults. Like, in case you haven't done the vaults yet, Necker is perfect for the vaults. I mean, essentially, like, with Necker, you can just stand AFK at the start or at the end and just nuke everything in the middle and you're tanky and it's just fun. And tier 100, tier 100 vaults feel like they're... It couldn't be easier. Why am I exploding like corpses out of the enemy range? Well, just for essence production. So just produce some corpses, get, get essence production going. Go in, pop off. Curse, army of the dead. Capstone Dungeon Boss will just be like breakfast. I feel like my robot is also doing like a very good job at helping us here. General. I'm going to use 200 sword all the way to 100. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Nah, like, I'm, I mostly change around world tier 4 because before world tier 4, your gear is really, like, mandatory. Uh, your gear is not mandatory. It doesn't really matter what you have. Like, you, you can make do with whatever. <laughs> That's something to get used to. Like, until, until world tier 4, you can just do with whatever. You just, you just wing it. Um... In World Tier 4, I start carrying because then you get the first ancestral pieces and you like, like you know, start getting things you might actually want to keep. Uh, we'll go for one hand and off hand definitely at some point. Uh, we will, uh, it might actually be that we play shield. Not Littlest Wall, that we actually play shield, but we're probably going to go for focus. Uh, we do have to make sure that we get enough armor though. And that's why shield might be an option because we might need another defensive aspect. Because armor is the greatest weakness of the of the summoner necro. Oh look! Boom! Perfection. Let's have this army of the dead cooldown for the last enemies because we're going to be getting mauled by them otherwise. Robot's still doing nothing? Nah, the robot is useful as fuck. Especially in your second playthrough, because right now all my abilities are already high leveled. You gotta understand that, right? All my abilities are plenty high leveled already. It's actually really nice. Usually I would agree that the robot doesn't feel good, but I, I have almost like a level 10 gyrate at this moment or focus fire going on. Well, probably cheat code to then just have your minions level uh, to, to, to have a lot of stone caches for your second playthrough. But hey, it is what it is. Leveling is fun, especially the second time over. I mean, it was the same with the vampiric powers. If you look at the vampiric powers, like second level, you had all the blood to kind of like pump them up. My second character I leveled, he just, he just flew through things. Okay, lads, first try. What are we thinking? Don't forget how easy I can stagger him because that will be the will be the interesting part. Look look at the stagger bar, Chad. We're not even gonna like try to kill the minions. We're just essentially just keep staggering. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Really? You just, you just hit me there second time. Uh, yikes. Unfortunate. Pony to fan. Where do you get nightmare vaults from? Whispers. And you can craft them. Uh, Tree of Whispers gives you the first uh, glyph if you don't have it. Wasn't the first try, chat. I'm sad. And stagger again. I need more time. Come on, stagger him. I'm cool. What? You shouldn't have one hit me there. I was like, I was sturdy enough. I'm unsure why he's actually one hitting me. We're sturdy like enough to actually weather this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pleased by getting one hit. Well, okay, I do miss the damage reduction that you would usually get at this point. Because there's there's actually like a nice source of damage reduction you get, right? By sacrificing your minions. Yeah, I'm I'm missing out on that. That's that's true. I accepted. Fine, Chan. Oh, he actually killed all my minions. That's uncool. Forcing me to actually dodge things. Ow. <laughs> I need to not dodge into him. I need to dodge away from him. I had to take blood mist. Nah, you don't have to take blood mist. You you can you can do that. I just need to not be like a bot. I mean, you can also just go back and get more life. I mean, just take a single item that gives you life, you know? And you're good to go. So that's just about that. This is bad. We didn't get enough summons. Okay. Weakest try yet, chat. I actually did have to learn how to counter this in in hardcore. You know, because I I tried I tried doing the boss in hardcore once because I just wanted to know how it's gonna feel. Is he like half invisible? He's half invisible, right? Doesn't matter. We'll stun him. Oh, are you here? Yeah, he's here. Didn't have that my first playthrough. Wait, is he visible again? I think he's visible again, right? And we get the final, we get the final stagger off, and he's done for. Done. Wee, wee, wee. Okay, let's drop all the items that we can wear because all the items we can wear are useless. Let's pick out only the items we can't wear. When did the new season start? Uh, seven days ago. So this is day seven. This is officially day seven. How do you find the Bloodlands build? The Bloodlands build is insane. 
Man, it's one of my one of my more favorite builds right now. Uh, it's just simply brilliant to play and quite enjoyable. A world tier three off to nightmare. Now we're doing uh, strongholds. Damn, our speed run is speed running, Chan. We're progressing. Okay, first first things first. Sort your equipment and mark the highest mark the highest pieces you want to keep. Because they have like a decent amount of item power. Uh, we're gonna go for the weapon. Mark that. The rest, the rest just goes away. This is 567. The rest just goes all away. This is 557. This is 529. 586 and 567. This is five. Mm. Rest can go away. This is 39, not 19. 39. Jesus. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Now we are world tier. I would like to do uh, open world. I mean, here, see, this would be the perfect thing to do right now. Freaking, freaking uh, Legion event because the amount of XP I'm going to get from this is, is incredible. Ran your blood search build from 60 to 92. Yep. Vaults are just going to feel brilliant with that. There's like no questions. You put on your glasses or I need more time. Yes, please. But it's okay. So I could also do the open the overworld in this, but it's just like not desirable yet to actually engage with the overworld. We're just gonna we're just gonna wait for level 40, 42, when you're able to put on the actual gear. But your your minions kinda help with being able to straight up you know like like jump into the overworld because your minions are due to army of the dead also undying so i can i can do like certain packs of mobs without a downside it's quite a nice thing if i can get a legion event now under my build the amount of xp that we're able to grieve from a legion event is just it's just insane in world tier 3 right when i'm hoping there's other players there but if there's truly other players there, I'm like that's like almost two levels now from one Legion event. Then we do like one, two strongholds and we're already like able to do the overworld. So as soon as we're like 42, 44, we can just straight up jump from not doing the overworld in being able to like, like start cleansing the overworld of all the threats. See, he's also going for the Legion event. I don't know why he's in this world tier, though. Don't get me wrong, chat, but I don't know why he is in this world tier because he is level 59. <laughs> you should, you should not, should not be here, sir. Maybe, maybe he he doesn't know Chan. That's crazy. When you also find like a level 63 player who's still in world tier three, and you're like. Sir, are you are you good? 65 to 100? Oh, that's qu pretty simple. Uh, Nightmare Vault. We're not all super gamers. That's completely fine. You know? It's uh, completely fine. But when I see like a 60 plus player in world tier... In world tier 3. Uh, wait, it's it's more like... That... that No? N no? I've been using Bloodlands since 36 and it's awesome. Ain't struggles or feel underpowered. That's good to know. Uh, usually, like, Bloodlands needs a lot of the pieces together to essentially work. So, what, what, like, you know, I wasn't sure how, how it's going to feel during the leveling. Okay. You're 41 run around what you want. Yeah, but you're you're new. You're new. They're like new speed. It's, it's an excuse, you know? We're liking season three. I am personally enjoying season three to the fullest. I got a couple more videos, a couple more builds, different classes, different things planned. I cannot tell you how long that will hold. 
Okay. I mean, like, I think I got at least 30 days this season in me. So somewhere middle of February currently. Then we'll see if the leaderboards are already available because they're going to make a big part of my game fun. Because if they're like, if there's no leaderboards, like if they're not coming soon, then well, what am I going to do? I mean, I'll be having my characters maxed and then and then I'm essentially in waiting mode, right? I mean, there is there is also last epoch coming. Don't forget that at the end of February. So there there is a game that we could splice in while waiting for things. But yeah, we'll see like how how much fun the leaderboards are going to be, how 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 enjoyable that thing is. Yes, these these goats are giving us headaches right now to bead. I'm planning to play Hell Divers too. I, I haven't even played Hell Divers one. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what that is. A is, is it is it a, a shooter, an FPS, is it ARPG? What what speed farming Necro? If you don't know, if you don't like how slow Necro feels, I mean Necro like Necro doesn't feel slow leveling and has never felt slow leveling. Step one. Step two, well, I mean, Necro will always feel slow no matter what build you go for. But you could, you could do, you could do a a Bone Spear Necro that puts in some shadow to actually get more movement speed to zoom faster. People have done that. But usually, if you're just looking for speed, clearing speed, killing speed, it's a simple-minded full Bone Spear. Don't think about Bone Spirit, even though it's fun and good, but if you're just looking for clearing speed. Don't play Helldivers. Wendy, I still don't know what Helldivers is. You open the box of the Pandora, you gotta tell me now. That's level 40 chat. We can put on our weapon. Let's go. Boom. An instant damage increase. That's our ring. That's also gives us a huge chunk of maximum minion life plus, so that's cool as well. I told you this is this is going to be like straight up a quick level for me. Now I would put more points into corpse explosions usually, but I think we're gonna be left open with Nah, usually we're now having to like like get the corpse explosion a bit higher. Your bone, bone storm Necro is fast as fuck, boy. It is, but in comparison to other classes, you're always going to be slow. Necro is just the, the slow little unwanted child. Will you do a minion build Necro video later on? Yes, but I at least want to get to World Tier 4 before I do this. Because if I'm already going to recommend a Necro build, then it's going to be for... For 1 to World Tier 4, so like 1 to 60, and then there's going to be a step 2 for 60 to 100. But yeah, I, I want to do the, like, I want to do the right order, right? Play any PUBG these days? No. I, we're all waiting for PUBG 2, though, and we're waiting for Smite 2 as well. Are you, by the way, chat, are you waiting for Smite 2? I don't know if you ever played Smite 1, uh, one of the greatest MOBAs in existence, which is finally being ported into Unreal 5 Engine. Yeah. That's been my greatest news of this year so far. And then we're also... Oh no, Vampiric opponent. We're cursed. What should we do? Yes, my two and well, PUBG two seems to be in the works, but that's more rumors than in the known. Does anyone play PUBG these days of 500k players daily? 
I don't know why people still believe the game ain't doing well. The game is doing more than well. It's just it's just like could be doing vastly better. The company has slowly improved. See, that's my second level. I told you we can make some really good levels here, Chad. Same. Be happy if I get like another level bonus. Where, where's the help? Why am I doing this alone? I shouldn't be doing this alone. Okay. That's fire. Ladies and gentlemen, going places. I can't wait to actually do the capstone dungeon for World Tier 4. So our goal right now is hmm, when I picked up the weapon, I should probably just go farm arcane tremors. But you notice you notice out how my minions are dying relatively quick right now, correct? And that's that's like the product of being in this world tier early. Like right now, as you jump over. Minions will just feel atrociously weak. And that's often where people get like, oh man, you know, my, my minions used to be so good, but now they suck. I mean, yeah, if you're skipping world tiers like we are doing like very early in the beginning, the first few levels, they, they kind of feel shitty. But they're also not supposed to feel good. I mean, this is why this is what you have army of the dead for because I, I, I activate army of the dead, right? And my minions are essentially undying for the duration of army of the den then you're going to be like using your decrepify to reduce the cooldown so you can do it more often and right now my minions haven't died they're just they're just sturdy Ta -da! and we're getting a bunch of cool chests with our first sacred gear pieces already which is kind of nice right now we're getting can't put this on need to be 45 put the pants on which are instantly better than what i have boom improvement okay where is where is whispers why is there no why is no overwhelm whispers okay let's do core dragon as a experience farm what level should you go to world tier 4 55 to 60. 60 is the safe way. 55 is the I am impatient as fuck way. By the way, shout out a chat for everyone that actually has watched our Bloodlands video on, on YouTube as well. Appreciate it. I can only bring myself to use summons when I have Land of the Dead. Well, it's really useful to do it with Land of the Dead, as you say. Because Land of the Dead can be teched to resummon everything. So it's quite nice. You just let your minions die and then you Land of the Dead, essentially. And don't really have to care about it. Uh, do you know what level I should be to farm Lord Zir with your Blood Surge build? Lord Zir? Uh, in World Tier 4. Uh, not before a team. See, right now when you do the stronghold trick, your your minions suddenly feel good again, right? Because suddenly your minions are actually like sturdy and tanky enough, and everything is working, so you're fine. <coughs> I thought you waited with strongholds until the world tier four. No, you do like four to five strongholds in world tier three and the rest in world tier four. So you don't want to do all of them in world tier three. You need some left over. Uh, I'm I'm 59. I'm 59. Should I go world tier four? Yes, you should certainly. If you feel like you can do it, uh, but you should be able to do it.
And 42. Ding, 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 ding. I love the early stages of well tier jumping because that always allows you to level so fast. Early stages of well tier jumping. Can I put on another item? No, not 42 yet. Okay, Army of the Dead on again. It's kind of like not worth it to like wait for the cooldown. Just use it when it's there. Honestly, I mean, you'll, you'll start reducing the cooldown again anyways with your Decrepify. So stop mucking around. Just use it when it's there. Stun him. See, this is where minions are just feeling smooth as butter. You did the strongholds on tier two, but what, did you do all of them? I mean, like, don't worry. Like, so <laughs> why do you need strongholds on world tier four? The strongholds are there to get you easy content because right now I'm 42. The overworld is 55. So everything is level 55, but strongholds are also level 42. That's why you keep the strongholds left for now because then I can essentially easily do them with 42. And the same goes when you're going early into World Tier 4. I mean, if you go into World Tier 4 with level 60, you don't need strongholds because you can straight up put on ancestral gear and kill everything. Okay. Fill up my essence. I can't believe that this feels so much smoother than my Bone Spear. That's because minions are just a natural smoothener. Minions are just mean, honestly. Hey, could you please all just walk here quickly and ki kill him? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, bone storm damage. No, I mean, that's, that's better than the ring we have here. Okay. Done. Almost 43. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mini damage is armory of the dead damage. So it's terrible design. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, let's not, let's not talk about minion design. Okay. Because else I'm going to start yelling and flailing my arms and you don't want to see me yelling and flailing my arms, Chan. You don't, you don't want to. That's what's going to happen. Ow. Oh, yeah, the overworld killed me. <laughs> Oops. I underestimated the damage that that would deal to me vastly. I'll be honest. Wasn't expecting to die by elemental hazard chat. That harsh. See that? Um, house is against my tour. Bitte kämpfen? Summon Revival? Well, we had two hours and 54 minutes, and right now we are on the way to already World Tier 4. My goal was six hours to World Tier 4, but I think I can do it faster. I mean, right, right now, it seems like I can do it faster. We'll see how fast it goes in the end. Ow! Really? Really? You freeze me and then you kill me? <gasps> Robbery. He froze me and then he spit on me, Chan. Absolute sadness. What a rude boy. 
now you're dead because you were rude to me. You're German? No. No, 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 no. It was just a random, like, I just had a stroke. You know? When you suddenly speak in foreign tongues, you know? My wife was vacuum cleaning in the basement and just jamming her cleaner against my door. I don't know if she was either sending subliminal, sub, subliminal, not so subliminal signals. Or, or I don't know yet. The demons came out exactly. <laughs> I'm cursed, Chan. I have a curse. That forces me to speak German occasionally. You have a bone spirit level guide? Yep. But it's bone spirit spear level guide. So it's a combination of these two. Because it's bone spear spirit. Bone spear it. You know, the build is called Bone Spear It. You get it? If you don't get it, that's okay. It's not funny. Maybe it's time for a 15 minute break. I don't know what this break thing is you're talking about. I am frozen again. Stop freezing me. Plenty rude. Good. Level 43. Let's go, chat. Keep momentum violence. Uh, can I put on another item? A chest piece now? 600 item power already? Oh, skeleton mage's bonus! Yay! Let's go! That's nice, honestly. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. Oh, helmet with explosive mist that we're not going to be using. Cool, cool. Trash, trash, trash. Uh, the skeleton mages need to stay. Trash. Oh, by the way, I didn't even notice that the sword had the perfect enchantment on it. John. For some reason. Because it's like when, we, when your minions are alive for XXX, right? They get more damage. So that's what we actually have going on right now. What's a preferred one hand to go with like lit lit list, a wand. For the lucky hit chance. So you can make more corpses. So you're never running out of corpses. Bully him. Look how he's getting bullied, Chan. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Actually, we need to keep the gloves with Army of the Dead right now. Because I don't want to exchange them. We're keeping yellow items. Because yellow items are so much often better than legendary items. Because you can make yellow items legendary items. Is this a joke question or is this a serious question? Asking for a friend. Uh, how much longer are they staying? They're staying for another hour. Okay, in that hour, what we should do is we should do like two. Oh, that's another Legion event. Yeah, we need to go there. Uh, we should do the next Legion event and then we do them. Because the next Legion event gives me like to 44 and from 44 on I can put on sacred gear. And as soon as I can put sacred gear, we're good, right? Yeah, I don't play Rogue, so I can't really help you with Rogue. I mean, that that's like, yeah, I'm sorry. There, there's no, there's no world where I can, in any capacity, help you with Rogue. It's not my forte. See, now that we put on some gear, now that we've gotten a bit stronger, suddenly the overworld doesn't feel so daunting anymore.
My minions are also not dying. And even even, even filthy elites are, are breakfast. Oh, that's uh, that's cool. A rogue is a necromon, so that's afraid to get hit. Hey, that's accurate. I mean, if we're one thing, we're just tanky as fudge, right? Okay, we are almost 44. I have another three hours left. Three hours left to get to world tier four. 17 levels. I mean, that seems absolutely doable. Why do we desperately want to reach it today? I mean, like, why not? The, the sooner I get this Necro level 100, the sooner we're going to start with another class, Chan. Then you're going to get the Druid level guide or the Mage level guide. Probably Druid over Mage because I really do like Druid. What kind of minion build do you want to test? Oh, right now it's just more about the, the level viability again because uh, I know how good minion is in the end game or how bad minion is in the end game. Uh, or I know how to make it work to clear a tier 100 dungeon. And now we also got like our stupid uh, robot too, which makes things even better. So realistically, what we're trying to do is give you a very good level experience. And that is that the minion build is just uh, an absolute killer level experience. What do you think of Barb's damage for the other classes? I don't care because uh, the leaderboard is class gated. So why would I care how much damage Barb deals? But what I have to say is that Blizzard has created a problem because they have said they will never nerf anything ever again. But Barb is obviously overtuned. So whatever new content they're making from this point on, they always have to consider that Barb can just do it way too easy. Um, and what scares me is that they're unable to make content then appropriately, like, you know, the Abba 12 Zier was essentially not, not nice for Necros. <laughs> I mean, we had overtuned Sorks, right? We had overtuned Barbs, and we had, like, Druids that could do Grishillion to Grishillion of damage. And then you had Necros. I need more time. Yeah. Sadness. They said that, well, they they said that their philosophy right now is that they might balance things, but they don't want to neuter power. Okay, so don't don't understand my statement there. They're like 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 wrong. They they essentially said they're never never again going to completely like neuter power. And the only way to make barbarian balance to everyone else is either take barbarian's damage down by 50% net total or by by buffing everyone else's damage tremendously into the sky. So, what do you want to do now? Do you want to completely ruin Barb's damage only only to make it balance to towards the other classes? Cuz I can tell you that no one would like that. Is Barb really that OP? Yes. Barb is not OP per se. It's just that it's just completely overtuned damage wise. The values it can achieve. I mean, I, I'm happy when I see like a 10 million crit uh, at level 100, right? And Barb just goes and one hits Duriel. The Sorks are OP. I mean, Proverb, like. Necromancer also stands in the middle of the room in, in the tier 100 vault and doesn't take any damage. That's not the point. Like, you know, like survivability is easy to be achieved. It's more about like, you know, the, the actual damage output. This is why I'm really excited for leaderboards, but only to play in the Necro leaderboards. Because like, why would I want to compete against a team of barbs? Right? 
Necro leaderboards. Really excited for that. What are we doing? More curse damage, I think, would be on the menu right now. Even without you, you were unique, so you get around 500 million damage. Exactly. Oh, I can put on my gloves, but I couldn't put on my gloves, I remember. I need to, like, put on the gloves, but I need to enchant them, essentially, at the same time. 45, that would be another damage boost. So, we're waiting for that right now. Well, that's 675. What the fudge? Okay, then we need to keep you... I was not actually keeping the dagger around, but there you go. Like, 675 is the highest item damage I can have there. I hope they come out with good rewards for some kind of challenging content. I mean, leaderboards, you get a frame around your portrait. Yeah, a frame. You know, frame. Where would you recommend leveling the new vessel from S3? I would definitely go with level 30. I'll still do overworld content. Just, just go into the seasonal area and just jam that through. Seasonal area is so much fun. Okay, let's see that we get at least to 45. Halfway to 46, preferable from this Legion of N. Shouldn't be giving this much XP. We'll try to get the most of it. This is like one of the Legion events that doesn't have like the highest enemy density. Often feels a bit lackluster. Do, 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 do. Come on, Mr. 62 Bar. Why is there a 69 Barbarian here? This is World Tier 3. I mean, like, 60, 69, you can, you can, like... I hope you're you're pulling your friend through. Sales, we need to talk. Maybe he's waiting for the level 70. Wait, I, I'm completely forgetting that the level recommendation is actually level 70 for the Capstone Dungeon. I am completely forgetting that. Because, because the actual level recommendation for the capstone dungeon is like, you should do this and level 70. I'm forgetting this. I'm sorry, Chan. Uh, I'm, I'm a lit, uh, my head is up my ass. If I want, I can take you to Nightmare Dungeons for more XP. Thank you for offering, but that's not the point of this stream. So my level streams are always meant as giving you an example of how it can be. So if you're interested in playing Necro, you can essentially watch this level stream to get pointers for if you wanted to level your Necro as well. If I would ja now just make a stream of me being pulled through, what's the use of that? You know, no one, no one learns anything from this. So as much as I appreciate the offer, uh, not interested. It's also harder to make guides where you tell people, you know, like, so I, I see a lot of, <laughs> I see a lot of people putting out level guides and then they actually only level in Domheim tunnels and they only level being pulled by others. You're like, how, how can you make a level guide when you actually haven't like correctly leveled, you know, when you haven't gone through the struggles, when you, you, you did the capstone dungeon with four people, you know, okay, how can you then make a guide because like you didn't do it alone or or the right way hey that's just just what i think you know is always allowed to disagree chat what's the average leveling time one to 100 well since i don't rush i mean i just, just do things efficient uh, it takes around like 20 to 24 hours, which is okay timing. I mean, these speedrunners, they take around 16 hours and they're like, they're playing them in a four man team, you know, and they're like doing everything fast and efficient. I just do like the, the very, the very good level of efficiency that allows me to, to be quick. I still hate Helltide. That's okay. I mean, Helltides did not see any improvement apart from the timer. And they definitely missed out on it. Uh, for me, my favorite change would be if Helltides would actually have some kind of 
blood seekers in them aka Grigoire's generals that would try to jump you at any moment this would be my favorite change to date so i just want to be jumped by a bunch of nerds i'm useful look at me mom not a burden see almost halfway to 46 that's cool so now we are officially at the point where we can start doing the overworld too because we have mostly put on sacred gear not completely but mostly put on sacred gear so we are kind of like at a level where we can start attempting to do whispers and such no nightmare vaults yet It's not completely true. I could probably do a Nightmare Vault, but it would be a waste of time. Like, Just got God Slayer Crown. Congratulations. What guides did you do for the seasons on YouTube? Everything I do is on YouTube, yes. We have leveling guides. We have seasonal mechanic guides. We have best best stones. Uh, we have like three different builds already for you. The Bone Spirit, the Blood Surge, and the Blood Lands Necro. Uh, we, you know... We got a vault end room guide in case you don't know how to do the vault end rooms, Chad. Ow, I got boobed. I'm cool. Uh, how to do Uber Malphys? Full package. We have Shadow Summoner and a Blood Summoner. This is not Shadow Summoner, this is Pure Summoner. You misunderstand, sir. This is not Shadow Summoner. This is pure Summoner. That is using Kellen's Addict. Try blood, but I already have a blood summoner, Sean. <laughs> what do I need to try? I already have one. There's no try, there's only do. Also, there might be people trying to do this, but like, you know, I'll do it better. <laughs> I'll do it better. The whole point. Sacrifice bones are increased, but I'm not sacrificing anything. No, but I am not sacrificing anything. Okay, teleport back. I see a max roll. Oh, Jesus, max roll. All my builds are mobilitics, my friend. You do, you won't see ever a single build of mine on max roll. Well, don't don't make me responsible for you not finding things. That that's on you, sir. Do 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 do, Mr. Kaba, good to see you there. Let's, let's yoink this out here. They're probably the most annoying thing about leveling Necro that you have to like consistently rotate your aspects on other items. We shouldn't find a better weapon anytime soon. So I think we're going to put the aspect on there and then we're going to put the aspect on there as well. And then we're going to put the new gloves on and we're going to take the gloves and also put the unyielding commander aspect on there as well. Boom. Upgrade. Level 45. And what we would do right now is we would go to do the overworld content. So that is set. We should be strong enough to handle this, right? Wine shouldn't be going too bad. Is there a guide for the build you're playing? No, sorry, uh, Simonis. There is no guide yet because we essentially threw this together this morning. And we're going along as we level with uh, what feels strong. And then you're essentially going to be getting an updated, good feeling level guide in the in the next days. 
that's the process but i'm essentially just you know I, I need to i need to make it first i need to experience it first to give you the optimal version are you gonna get something scuffed i mean i can give you something scuffed if you want but who wants that i am not sure if i can actually kill the malphys uh the herald on this level he's gonna, he's gonna be definitely annoying because of the elemental hazards he's putting out that's definitely one thing that the summoner necker has a weakness with because usually i would sacrifice my minions to allow me elemental resistance now i do not have that luxury i need to actually like look out for elemental resistance because Now oh, we can kill him. Okay, that's good. Easy clap. Oh, that's 46 already. What? Are oh, your minions gain damage reduction? That's actually really nice. Okay, first, first uh, whisper done. Dude, we're, we're just going to fly through the levels now. Do you always stream around this time? Yes, Professor. We start at 8 a.m. German time and we stream until 4 p.m. German time. Unless it's Saturday because that's my family day. But usually from 8 to 4 p.m. is where we put our content down. A plus a YouTube video every day. Because why wouldn't you release a YouTube video every day? Carber skilled. Total armor 10% plus. That makes you way more tanky. It would lose me my disobedience. I'm fine with that. Let's take this one off just in case we need it. I'm not sure if we actually do need hardened bones. Next point, more damage. Go back. There was a Diablo season four league somewhere. Apparently gem slots become aspect slots. Thoughts? I mean, like, leaks are no news they're leaks and they're unconfirmed until they're confirmed sir so no thoughts on something that has no merit you know that has no substance I need more time. until it does have merit or substance I am so going to die to this. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. What, what could possibly go wrong, guys? We could probably tank this, right? Right? Right, Chad? I mean, it can't be that hard. We should probably be able to just outlive this. I am not able to outlive this. This is scary. annoying minions but I mean, it's about time that we essentially like start getting um it's about time that you start getting what's it called again max minion life on items but you're not really it's like one, one of the problems you, you would already start needing to get max minion life on items but you can't start explicitly looking for that right it would just it would just slow down your overall process like you're, you're just looking still for just higher item leveled items but it, it will lead to your minions just feeling a wee bit squishy god overworld is brutal for these lads um oh we haven't pushed the scale to mage mastery all the time see this is this is why i don't have a build guide yet chan because i essentially forgot to push my scale to mage mastery right now which I should have pushed like a long, long while ago because it would make my skeleton mage just way more sturdy and damagey and better, and I would even like go through content faster. Yeah, and that's why that's why we do this, where we play through to experience things. 
Bad time to drop Disobedience. Disobedience does not make you more sturdy against elemental damage. That's what resistance does. And the only damage I'm taking here right now is elemental damage. So dropping Disobedience or not did not make a single difference for what is happening here right now. Yeah, that's great. Do I want to fight you guys? Hmm. Potentially. Oh! The, the only moment you're happy finding Sacred Gear, right? At this time of the game. Oh, there, there are so many coils and springs that it would be so cool. Do you think I can do like a normal vault? Like a non-nightmare vault? Probably. I mean, yeah. Last room might get tricky. the only thing i could see what was a 20 Ooh. what do you think about the wasd movement i'm not using it it's fun though i like and can highly recommend it uh but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not using it okay uh blood orb healing damage nothing that one is also lower item power well, we can wear the boots now but the boots would reduce my amount of warriors so we're not going to do that currently So yeah, WASD movement is, is definitely cool. I'm just so used to using... Ow. I'm just so used to using um, mouse in Diablo at this point. I, I did use it in Diablo Immortal. But in Diablo 4, I just don't see me using WASD at any, any given time right now. I'm just too stuck with this. That's okay. Happens to the best of us. Give me more minions. He boomed us. Like we can we can still die relatively easy to elemental hazards right now. But that's why we're playing softcore guys to do stupid things. I mean, I could say, Pony, just play hardcore for a real challenge. Ha ha, bibbidi bobbidi boo. But you're like, no. I, I want to I wanna skip leveling. You know, I, I want to level fast and efficient by doing, like, early world tier thingies because I'm greedy. And the last thing I want to do is try hard. When I can zoom instead. Aha, you're stuck. I'm running Amulet like that guarantees a uh, thousand OP from Paragon and Bone Spirit Spear. Do you think Bloodlands are more suitable for this re 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 relic build? I'm running. Uh -oh. I mean, that, that's essentially how you play Kuroshi. I'm not sure what your problem is, but I, I wouldn't do the overpower, though. Like, I, I don't I don't feel an advantage of doing of mixing the overpower and crit up in the Bone Spirit build. <clears throat> you can do it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't see, like, you know, it being the best strategy. Oh, that's a Sever Glove. I know the game was getting WASD movement. No, it's there yet. Uh, if you if you struggle with minuscule mouse movements, then uh, WASD is your friend. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, one pearl. Uh, yeah, one pearl. No, actually two pearls because I'm lazy. I like consistently getting like higher items, but we, we need to look for pans that has minion life because minion life could be up to like 30% higher right now with pans. 
Look at me, Cha. I'm the chosen one. Come here, little golem. I'm 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 dropping, Chad. I'm dropping. Okay. Don't forget, first first spell you use is always curse. In, the, in these builds where where like you're very cooldown dependent, the the first skill to always activate is your curse skill. They uh, ah. on a horse and try to loot flowers and unlocking waypoints. Hehe, <laughs> I can imagine that. I mean, WASD movement is definitely less less accurate than uh, controller. Controller is just the most smooth feeling thing. Uh, we we actually did this. We did, we did we did a little comparison in in Diablo Immortal with that because it's it's simply like if you WASD, you can only you can only pan around. You know, like you can only make jerky movements. Whereas a controller allows you for smooth circular movements. Do I run to the world boss? How many minutes is left? Usually world boss at this world tier are just a waste of time. Just like until people have killed him, it takes like so long. So tend to not bother. More gold shot going for the 400 million. I think this this season like 1 billion gold or bust, Chad. It should actually like the, the, the crazy part is how easy it should be to get a 1 billion gold. It is truly is. I mean, we're like seven days in and we're already at 400 million and we, have, we haven't even, we haven't even like started, right? Just watch your vid and was interested if you prefer Bloodlands over Bone Builds. I like both of them. The, the reason why I made the build is not because my old build was bad. It's because I'm a content creator and I need to make content. So I gave you another build that is an option that you can use now. Minions, could you please come back here to me? Thank you. How are minions going to fill in the final room here, Chan? I feel like they're going to do pretty damn well currently. Okay, there is something blocking my sever there. Like the corner of the wall is essentially blocking my sever. It's actually horrible. Look at how good minions are feeling, Chan. I was standing back here to, yeah, didn't lose a single one in the fight. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, honestly, I expected this to be a bit more, a bit more rough and tough, but uh, there we go. It was quite simple. I mean, we could even do a tier, like you could actually do a tier one now. So if you can do a normal vault, you can do a tier one vault as well. What's the advantage of doing a tier one vault? That there's more loot. Seems like you're bringing in a lot of new people. Hey, Doug, good to see you there. Yes, Crimson, we're bringing a lot of people to YouTube. That's for sure. I think it helps that we're actually enjoying the season and we're not hating everything, right? I mean, that, that helps reasonably. You're not just like monkey hating on, on, on the game existing. Oh, that's Skeletal Warriors. We can sacrifice them. That's cool. That one goes away. That's a better helmet. That's actually a cool helmet because it gives us our minions damage reduction. So that's nice. That's a better weapon on what we are having.
to get more rares while leveling. Um, do more vaults. Vault, vaults give you more, more, more cool things. Also, the way to go. You're not doing vaults. You're an idiot. Said it. I'm not taking it back. Okay, so what do I need now? I need my... I need my chest has mages. I need my boots to be skeletal warriors. So I'm going to rip that off. Have the boots be skeletal warriors. Then we have uh, the gloves need to be unyielding commander. And that's it. Oh, Crimson, you're being good here today. And, 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 how are you liking it? Okay, where was I? Oh, I was doing the dungeon, right? Okay, we get another level. That is the last point in Mage. Good. Uh, now, what do we have? Well, boss in 10. We could go to the well boss. We could go to the Legion event. Um, I'm too late for the Legion event. We might make it. Go AFK and run for the toilet. How about that? Any recommendation on farming Tempest Roar? Isn't Tempest Roar from... I don't even know where it's from, to be honest. Oh. Isn't it from Varshan? Varshan? I mean, generally, I've gotten 20 uniques, Chad. 20 uniques in two days. Only from Nightmare Vaults. Okay. It's a random drop. Well, Tempest Roar will drop from a certain boss better, Demalius. In case you didn't know this. Like, every... Every... Unique drops from one boss with a higher chance. Or with a certainty. So you can target farm is. Is Duriel for Tempest Roar? That seems like the worst one to be. Is no one at this well boss? I was hoping for people to be here so I just get level 50 easy. Oh, we're 49. Since when are we 49? Jeez, we've been making levels. Okay, ch ch holy Christ, Chan. I, I was like, you know, we're we're gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna be under six hours. I was saying world tier four in six hours, but right now this this feels like we we can do it. We can do it significantly faster. I mean, we have we have two and a half hours left. And we essentially only need to do six levels. Because in six levels, I can do the Fallen Temple. Holy. How? When? Why? That's that's cray cray. I mean, in a good way, though. Like, I'm, this is not me complaining. This is me, like, being happy. Need a 30 Duriel tries to drop Tempest Roar. That doesn't sound like fun. Oh no, you're killing my minions. You uncool bastards. What have they ever done to you? I would kind of like to have a Ring of Sacrilegious Souls. I have one in my inventory, but I don't know how low level it was. Like there, like I have one extremely low level ring of sacrilegious souls. The core did uh, world tier four capstone forty nine. Yeah, I mean congratulations. It's good if you can do it early, but it's not good if I would do it right now for a guide because it doesn't help you if if you're able to do it. You know what I mean? You know, we're making guides for the average player, and the average player already struggles with level 55. I don't know when you do the capstone dungeon. I think 55 is easy, personally. But the average player does, like, struggles with that. So you gotta keep it realistic. 
We're going to find the Litless Wall from Lord Zero or in the Overworld, just randomly everywhere. I mean, generally, every unique can be found everywhere, right? It was interesting. Oh, it's absolutely interesting. Like, if you min-max your gear enough, early things are definitely possible. What should I go to do Torment 3? Uh, play Diablo 3? You mean, you mean Nightmare, right? You did 75 Melf runs back to back. Neo, do you, do you still want to pretend that you're a casual? When I've done like three Melf runs so far. Three. What level should you go to nightmare 35 to 40 not later later than 40 and you're 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 like that that's a that's a time waste Hello. you're doing fallen temple on 63 without a problem that's totally fine i mean you, your goal should essentially be that every season or every character you're slowly trying to start doing it earlier right so if you do it with 63 now, next time try it with 62. No? And then next time try to do it with 61. And then so on. You get there. So unsteady. You killed the guy 15 times uh, near the chair whispers, Varshan, and you didn't get the ring. Yep, that can happen. It can, it can happen, and it feels shit, and we don't like it. No one likes it. Necker is a low class. Necker is the most played class in all Diablo 4. So thank you very much for your special opinion. I feel like Sappy Lunge is going to see there. Okay, that was quick enough. Uh, world boss is in four minutes. Yep, we got the timing down. World boss, I can go AFK. You know, I, I don't need any XP from the world boss, so I can run to the toilet. Let's get this one done here. Which, by the way, genuinely surprised me, Chan. I was not expecting Necker to be the, the most played class next to Sorg. It, it certainly doesn't feel like this. I mean, when, you, when you're around in-game, you you certainly don't feel like Necker is actually the, the most played class. I feel like there's barbs at every corner. What item power will you start rerolling? Honestly, I barely reroll. When I have my, like, I, I reroll when I find a 925 item with three good stats. But at this point, tier 90 dungeons give you 925 items, so I don't start rerolling before 925. Is it good to max out all the resistance or is it not necessary? Maxing out the all resistances is essentially the number one thing to do. Like getting the right amount of armor, aka 13,500, and maxing out resistances are the two things that are mandatory to be allowed to exist in World Tier 4, kind of. You know? That's the two main goals. You're not maxing out resistances. What are you doing with your life? Do -do -do. Come on, give me more sacred. But armor, not weapons. I got weapons. Oh, I'm, I'm fully out. See, like, this is what happens when you do Legion events because someone was asking earlier. These grotesque debtors can appear and killing them gives you already Varsha materials. Wee. Any chance to get a link to this build? There is no link to this build because the build was just created from the start of the stream on Sydney. So if you want to go back to the start of the stream, you can already see things off the build or parts of the build. And then in the next days, day tomorrow, you'll have a mobile addix as well. Do Does Elias do fire damage? N yes and no. Like one of his attacks is fire damage. The other one is physical and there's no resistance for that. But armor. I need more time. So you can't out resistance Elias essentially. You just... <gasps> Start dodging his chin, okay? I 
need more time. No doing gypsy, very good. Another guy with Harlequin Crest. Well, I, material duping was pretty big on day one, so you'll find a lot of people with Harlequin Crest. I'll be quickly right back running to the toilet. Oh no, I survived so long. Robbery. Dad. Um, robbery. I'm just trying to get back. Not cool. I did nothing wrong. No one deserves to die like that. Ow. Is it really fast? I mean, we are now three hours in, four hours in, and we're already level 50. So yeah, it's really fast. Well, we're wasting a little bit of time on a well boss now, but I guess that's an okay wait time waste. This boss, by the way, has arguably one of the coolest boss designs from the, from the world bosses. I love him. He's going full mothership mode. And at least in world tier three, you get to experience the bosses fullest, right? I mean, as soon as you're world tier four, it's just like he's getting pooped on in no time. So many arms, more arms than brain. Oh, 
Necromancy abuse. Necromancy abuse. Dude has all the arms, chat. Okay, down. What's the goal with this build? World tier 4 as fast as possible. Um, I think we're putting out good tempo right now. Let's say world record, world tier four. Okay. Oh, I get, I get, I get, I get I'm love final level fifty. Okay, let's go. So this is always the first thing, and now we can do the first nightmare vault. Okay, so we're gonna teleport out. I'm gonna do the first nightmare vault because with level fifty, you just get such a boost. Uh, when do you stop using Bone Spear to replace it with Bone Spear? Never, Professor. The Bone Spear Spirit build uses it from level 1 on and just, just goes through with Bone Spear Spirit. There is a, there's a new updated video for this, in case you missed it. I... We'll try pushing tier 100 later with, with the with the minions, maybe. I might just simply not farm the gear. Like, I might farm, like, when I hit level 80 with this build, I might farm the gear for this character with my other one. Uh, because it just makes my life easier, you know? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, where's where's the vault? There you go. First nightmare vault. That's cheating. Yeah? It is? Sean. My, 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 main, my main plan with the build is really to go from 1 to 16. Yeah, see, this, this is what I was saying. If you can do a normal dungeon, as soon as you can do a normal dungeon at this world tier, uh, you can you can always do the first nightmare level. And the, the only reason to actually do nightmare dungeons at this world tier is not for the glyph XP. It's actually for the more loot. Because nightmare vaults have more loot, right? Nightmare vaults have more loot. Do, 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 do. Nightmare vaults, more loot. <laughs> Golem slap. And yes, I am still doing a significant portion of the damage, guys, with my sever, but my minions are also helping. Is it dungeons? I don't do much nightmare dungeons in this tier i still focus on whispers nightmare vaults are a bit different though because nightmare vaults don't have a boss so usually i don't recommend you doing nightmare dungeons because fighting bosses at this stage is just like, atrocious and annoying but since nightmare vaults don't have bosses they are actually vastly different to normal nightmare dungeons because it's like i mean let's be let's be real like nightmare vaults are just so easy to do they're like no no challenge. And especially as a necro who works with corpse explosions, it's just a joke because it, like every every pack has a bunch of these tiny uh shitting uh like robotic um spider dudes, the skitter bots, the tiny ones. And the skitter bots, they just get turned into corpses and then and then the the damage begins right and then my minions are doing more damage and then it goes crazy okay what what glyph are we leveling first uh probably one that hires the percentage of things together with uh hiring the damage of my minions right Something in that direction also, reason to not start doing Nightmare Dungeons early because you're going to be lacking any glyph to actually use, you know?
I mean, right now, I would probably just, just rush to get cult leader as soon as possible. Let's get this leveled up. Where's that thing? Some corpse explosions. That didn't happen because... How did I not get hit by a trap? How did I not get hit by a trap, Yan? Weird. Ow. Got stunned. This build is a little bit risky because we're essentially not using Blood Mist, but... You simply don't have the slot to use Blood Mist. I mean, it would be great if we had any other defensive ability to use, but... Our defensive ability is essentially called a Golem. I know that's not what you want to hear, Chan, but it is what it is. Oh, we got it, Chan. We got the Mage Glyph. Why is the Mage Glyph so important? Well, the Mage Glyph is going to give us... Elemental resistance on all our minions, and that's what you really want. It's going to give the mages more damage, but that's not what you're interested in. But the elemental resistance part is just really what we're looking for. Oh. Look at me now. Look at me now. Do, 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 do. Almost done with the Nightmare Vault. And that's where Nightmare Vaults are just such a good XP farm. I mean, technically, a level 1 Nightmare Vault is too low already. You should do tier 5 Nightmare Vaults, but... We don't have to overdo it, right, Chan? Sometimes we're also just happy with taking it slow. Ugh. Oh, uh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Almost made an oopsie. Like, cooldown reduction. Do you, do you notice how fast the cooldown reduces now to partially? We just shaved off 20 seconds of Army of the Dead. Like that, right? My mini necker's almost 100. My golem just did 4.8 million non crit on the well boss. Yep, golem can be nasty. Finally. It depends on, like, like golem always depended on when he actually works. So so the biggest problem with the golem has always been that, that it just didn't work. Um, that, that none of the multipliers that were supposed to multiply the golem, they, they didn't multiply the golem. So what, 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 how, how are you going to then play the golem if the actual concept is not working because reasons? Let's start Army of the Dead up. Start cursing things too. To have our dudes like see, see how, how how fun minion monster is here chan in the vaults this is brilliant like my, my minions are just holding everything there and i just i just step back corpse explosion throwing my severs from the distance oh, and done that's in the whole that's the whole secret Wee loot splurge. Now we would start leveling up our mage glyph because that's 35 resistance to all elements on our minions, and that's huge. We now would meet the intelligence requirements. That would be also great, but I'm not going to be putting in. Actually, you know what? I might be, might be actually putting in the points for for the for the bonus effort. Oh, no, we're going to lose 10 intelligence with that. I need one paragraph point to put that in. Oh, unlucky. Is Bone Spree Necker worth playing? Absolutely. If you could design a skill or aspect for minion mancer, what would it look like? Uh, like, we, we need we need something. We need a core skill for minions. And that That's what's missing. A minion core skill. Well, that's 110 armor plus, and our minions are going to get 18% damage reduction. 
quite nice. But I would lose my skeletal mages due to that. And I can't actually do that. Could be a stinker. Oh, 690. My skeletal warriors I can reproduce easily. So that's okay. Hit chance, that's good, and more damage over time. So much more armor. Screw your mages. I'm sorry. Gotta go away now. I cannot salvage that. Yeah, so the two minion aspect should be had from the key passive. So there should, like, the key passive should say, when you take the key passive, you get plus two to minions. It is absolutely ludicrous that I am forced to completely, at any point, always make sure that my minions are, are minioning, you know? That's, that's just stupid. Okay, what do we have now? We still have, we have Impale finally. We're still missing Tempest, so that's sadly a joke because we do need Tempest. Uh, we got focus fire. We still don't have, uh, like, actually flesh of adrenaline with this one. We got a bunch of stones, so that's kind of nice as well, but also nothing really good. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Let's check the overworld. Uh, there is no whispers in the overworld, and if there is no whispers in the overworld, then we are going to just do another Nightmare Vault. Because now, now from a loot perspective, Nightmare Vault is just the way to go. And we can sl slowly start upping the enemy difficulty to just go a bit f faster. Uh, I thought buying those stone catches was a waste of resources. Not anymore. Because uh, they, like, if I play on my normal character, I get roughly, like, 20,000 stones per, 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 like, hour or something. It's so fast. Because, they, like, now that the tuning stones and the governing stones are level 10, then every further tuning and governing stone that you get past level 10 gives you, like, 200 stones. So you generally just fly through those levels. Like it's it's actually illegal from from a from a time standpoint how how fast it goes nowadays compared to how slow it started. I hate death poles. It's so scary. Thank you. Thank you for the improvements, Blizzard. Kudos. You know, gotta, gotta give credit where credit's due. Yes, yes, Blizzard screwed up the launch of Season 3 in terms of, like, level progression, which is horrible because when the when the progression of the season fields off, that's the worst feeling ever. But they also fixed it in, in, in the span of one day. So, I mean, yeah. Should it should have had been off in the first place? No. Did they did they still fix it very quick? Yes, they did. Okay, here now all my minions have elemental resistance bonus, which makes them essentially vastly more tanky and not die that quick. No, so if your stone is level 10, let's say your flesh of adrenaline is level 10, and you get another flesh of adrenaline, then instead of getting another flesh of adrenaline, you get uh you get a bunch of stones. So that's how it works with level 10. And uh, like my, my main character has almost every single stone 10 at this point. So if I do like one nightmare dungeon, I get like a thousand stones plus or so. If not more. Because most of the, most of the things I get are essentially... Spike Cliff, thank you very much. And that's very useful because before I would say keep your stones because you'll need them to summon the Sons of Malphys um, or the Heralds of Mal Oh, that's great. That's that's what we want to see, guys. A chest. I want to see a chest. Da -da 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 -da. Chests are actually always nice for for like uh, shadow damage over time, uh, corpse explosion thingy. 
Because you're essentially going to explode all these corpses, right? And as soon as the minions spawn, they're essentially spawning right into all the shadow corpse explosions you did. So no matter what these guys do, they're essentially just always like, they're, they're doomed to, they're doomed to die. I mean, look at, look how fast they're just, just getting shredded here. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Was making my levels chat very goddamn easy. See, so yeah, like so summoner necro for leveling just feels amazing. Well, what do you say, chat? How how is this looking for you? Are you vibing this? Is this something you would try out yourself? Are you like surprised how, how smooth it's going? And I'm probably making it look very good because I know also how to play this very well. It's, it's essentially, this is how I started playing the game. Like, you know, <laughs> this is how I started playing Diablo in the eternal realm. When everything started, uh, like, you know, when the game got released, this is, this is how I, this is how I played. With probably the slowest thing in existence. And I only learned how to play it better over time is similar for leveling up it's actually one of the fastest levels because it, it can do things like especially in the first capstone dungeon like the minions are helping you so much to stay alive it's it's actually just just nice i mean obviously we're overdoing it right now by using army of the dead and Kelly's addict so these are actually not good things to use um so we're, we're making it we're making it intentionally worse for for the people that enjoy the pure summoner fantasy because, because using count's addict is not good using using army of the dead is also not good it's not a terrible skill but i would be better off probably using some other shit Also using Shadow Blight would be better than than Kaling's Attic, but here we are, minions for life. Blood minions is a bit better for leveling. I mean, blood minions is a bit better for leveling. That's that's a fact. It's not an opinion. Um, but I wanted to do Shadow this time. Don't underestimate Sever though. Very good skill, especially for leveling. Sever general, like very, very underestimated skill. Ah. Didn't plan to use this, but you scared me. This is your own fault. Was it wasn't like, you know, wanting to go all out there, but you, you hit me and I was like, I overreacted. There's way too many small dudes exploding. Okay, we're through. We just need four more levels and then we're already world tier four. Damn, son. Sever can hit each mob three times per cast. Yep, Sever, Sever is a meanie. And especially with like minions together, you, you like have Sever be so damn efficient. Sever is generally one of these skills that people, people don't value as high as it should be valued. It sadly does fall off later on because Sever is lacking a bunch of useless aspects, uh, useful aspects, and the Sever unique is also mediocre at best so it's, that's a little bit the problem like all in all sever is actually pretty good but it's just more like it's it's very nice for this leveling and then and then you kind of like get to the point where it's like oh god sever why did you betray me oh ladies and gentlemen what is that ring 
Todd, did I just got a sacred unique ring? Well, I'll be damned. Well, let's look what we just got there. Mother's Embrace. Uh, come on. It could be a man down. It could be a man down. It could be a ring of sacrilegious souls. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I am ha 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 king. Have I said that I am hacking? For sure. Mm hmm. I'm still looking for like a ring that has, um, maximum minion life. Blatant streamer Klein. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't hide it anymore, chat. I need to come clean. Blatant streamer client. Okay. Nightmare Dungeon 5. Yeah, you're unique like it's mental. Honestly, past three days now, 21 plus uniques. Okay, tier five, Chan. Slowly getting to the point where mobs are going to be like out of your range. So tier five is actually good because the eight levels above. It should be providing like a bit bit more experience boost. But I actually do want to like return back into the open world now to to do some some uh, seasonal mechanic because I, I, I tremendously prefer doing the seasonal mechanic. I just love that. And we, we have finally reached the level where the overworld is going to be just fine. Oh, minions are so mean. Damaging enemies with sever has a chance to spawn pools of blight under the target and they do damage. The problem is again that that pool of blight can only appear once every three seconds. It's so stupid and it's a percentual chance. So there's a percentual chance for it to appear guys and it can only appear every three seconds. Why? I mean sever like if they change this aspect sever would truly go from like F tier to A tier maybe. Uh, but Alone, that aspect is the reason why Sever is as trash as it is. Yeah. Can someone help me with the Beast of Eyes, Shawnington? Anyone in chat that wants to do the Beast of Eyes, you can hit up Mr. Shawnington. There you go, brother. Oh, minions are really easy to keep alive later on. That's what you have the Paragon board for. I mean, right now we're trying to push into the cult leader paragon board, even though there are other paragon boards that would profit our damage more. But we're essentially pushing into the cult leader board. So we can have our minions be more sturdy and do more damage. I'm happy that our lucky hit chance is going up by now because uh, more lucky hit chance means that uh, the freaking freaking like uh, decrepify also reduces our cooldowns finally because before you kind of have decrepify and you get such a like a uh, lucky hit chance is like lower so you're you're just waiting for it to finally trigger. I need more time. <laughs> Pony lazy. I'm 
Come on. Gola, where are you? <laughs> Sometimes you're just waiting three to four business days for your golem to arrive. Golem. Golem. Playing Sever Necker without minions is not that bad. Mm, Sever minions without Necker just mean like just feels like you're missing out on what Sever is made for. Because Sever has two abilities. One is make vulnerable. That's shit. The other one is more damage with minions. So when you choose to play Sever without minions, it's kind of like, sir, you're 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 you know. You're you're missing out on 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 why why Sever is actually is, is, you know why what anyone would actually ever use Sever. I do like the skill aesthetically though, because it's like the best looking Necker skill from all the skills. No other Necker skill looks like remotely that good. They can make the golem jump on your mouse location. Well, so there's a very cool ability in Diablo 3 where you launch your corpse golem at the target location, he explodes into corpses and instantly gets respawned. That that is such a such a good ability, and it would work so well with Black River, for example, because you you essentially just yeet him forward. He instantly gets you know you could instantly use corpse tendrils to pull things together. It's just a general such a such a nice uh, skill. <coughs> I mean that Diablo 3 did minions better we don't need to talk about but it's just like you know I don't I don't want to reinvent the wheel I just want small quality of life improvements on minions at this point because I mean small small improvements better than nothing incremental steps Chad before they overtune minions again and then they have to nerve them right just give me just give me something John just let, let me breathe okay honestly minions feel so good involved my well, kids see me doing tier 100 vaults just standing back here and chilling Especially later when you have the lucky hit chance guys uh you're essentially like having army of the dead more or less permanently active <sighs> weep gripping support instead of mocking support i should probably take gripping support right now correct mage upgrade it Even if you overtune minions, the bar will do more damage. Yep. Yep. You couldn't be more right about that. Even if they would 400% overtune minions, I would still be weaker. Hmm. Here was that compound fracture. No, that doesn't do anything for us. Actually, you know what? That though does uh our amulet does not actually have anything on it. I forget that. Okay, we are 82. Oh, we got two paragon points. Then we're gonna go for the cool leader board. We're gonna be we're gonna be trying to get every single minion thingy here, I guess. Right? And go in there and like this is minion damage. Now you need the survivability first. Survivability first. Okay, so where do we want it to go? Is there overworld has spawned whispers? Sometimes I feel like the overworld whispers are taking like so long to spawn. Weird. You almost made your level goal today. The best part is I have two hours left. Chan. I, I wanted to I wanted to get to world tier four in six hours. 
And we're almost there. That's intense. Not intense. Intense. And we did it with Summoner. It's the crazy thing. I need to go back craft potions in a bin. I need to also go back and upgrade my potion in a bin, I think. Wait, what was the next potion upgrade? Was it 60? No, thank you. I don't want to be in a party with you. No, thank you. I don't want to be in a party with you, man. Appreciate the offer, but really, really not. Thank you very much. Boom. Shield. Oh, that's Blizzard Skeletons. Finally. Jeez, I've been waiting for that so long to, to just get a basic one of those, right? Because if, you're, if your mages can also do Blizzard, that, that's when shit just hits the fan because you're going instant stagger against everything. Just had some of as a butcher in one vault. I always ask myself if that is possible. Now I have my answer. I cannot do that here. Okay, next level already leveled. Jeez. Burr, burr, burr. The, the early part of like leveling in 50 is so much fun because you're getting like paragon points, paragon points, paragon points. So fast. Mm. It's uh can get them spawn in the same room even. Woo! I mean, I usually really don't bother with a son of Malphus inside a nightmare dungeon because he's just like I don't know what they did to his HP, right? But you're just like, yeah, I, I got better <laughs> I got better things to do today. I I want I wanted to I, I wanted to be somewhere in 20 minutes. The stones are not account wide, but the um, the materials are. So I can essentially farm for one hour on my first character to almost get everything to level 10 on my second character. It is incredibly fast at this point to also equip your second character. I find it personally annoying, yes, to having to redo it, but with the new changes, it's really, really quick. I mean, like, it's going to be annoying with a third smurf. So uh, right now, this is my first smurf. And if I get a... As soon as I have another character, that's where it's going to start getting annoying. But for, for one other charge, it's like... It's fine. Okay, I need two, two points from somewhere. You could just do Venomous modes. Venomous? Do you know if Earthquake physical damage over time procs Ixfelds? No. But usually damage over time triggers Ixfeld. So if it's damage over time, it's damage over time. I cannot do that here. Want to do a second Sorg? I mean, the reason I do another Necro is for the leaderboard. So I can just hot swap between these two. When I'm going to have two Necros, and each of these Necros is going to have everything maxed out. Like, literally everything maxed out. So, yeah. And then when the leaderboards are dropping, I can hot swap between two builds, like, in a matter of seconds. You know, like, like I can I can try out, is Shadow better? Is Bone better? Is Blood better? Probably going to have, like, one Blood Necro, and I'm going to have one Bone Necro. So, that's what I'm most likely going to be focusing on. Right now, the the plan so far. I need more time. Mm -hmm. The one was only count on one char after the update. I mean, that's completely fine, but you still got to know like. 
where it's going. I highly doubt it, though, because what if someone wants to be number one in every class leaderboard? I mean, imagine there's these crazy people that want to be number one in every leaderboard. Wait, like in the rogue leaderboard, in the in the warrior leaderboard, in the you know, like like you know, they they, they wanna they wanna be everywhere. Because there are these special nut jobs out there. I mean, if you already made number one with your first class, why wouldn't you make number one with your second class too? Right? Right? Surely. But yeah, I'll just focus on the Necro leaderboards. It's gonna be that's gonna be my jam. My my goal is definitely what one time one time top ten, but always top hundred slash thousand. And I'm saying that right now, hoping that the Asian players are restricted from our leaderboard and they're kind of like stuck on their own leaderboard and they're also not going to be VPNing over to our country to, to because I can't compete. I have a life. I have a family. I cannot compete with that. I need more time. I'm happy they have separate class leaderboards, though. Yeah, else they would be worthless. I mean, let's be fair. There's zero class balance. There is actually zero class balance. I mean, alone the concept of the Necker class is completely flawed. That, that I don't even remotely wish to compete with anyone. No, I didn't know there were leaderboards. There are not. They're coming. <sighs> They're coming. Not while I'm in town. Not there yet, but very close. It is done. Mm hmm. Oh, I finally got Flash of Adrenaline. Ladies and gentlemen, Flash of Adrenaline. But I don't even have duration support or anything like that. So it's useless to play Flash of Adrenaline. Wow. I don't even have breaking support. Holy moly. Sadness Supreme. Let's go and which vault is this we have to do? This is Vault of Cinders. We got Vault of Cinders, Nightmare Aid. Let's go. Slow and steady wins the snail, the race. I, I'm kind of like interested to actually go try the capstone dungeon with 52. But I think I'm going to wait for 55. I'm going to be reasonable, okay? This is the new season, yes. Okay, that is what level 62 opponents yeah there's still there's still paper when you're, you're getting like with with vaults like you're getting so fast looted out which is nice to see i think we'll we'll, we'll like at the end of the at the end of the day we'll see like more people being like completely tacked out than than in season two this is so much easier now and so much more convenient as well. Have you figured out how Zoltan Cold's journals work? You just keep doing more dungeons and they will appear sooner or later. I mean there, there's no there's no like secret secret sauce. They they just they just come. You spend time in vaults and you get them. But as far as I'm aware, like when we got done with the quest, like there's actually no special reward for finding the journals. So you essentially just find the journals for finding the journals and that's about it. So robbed, you know? Hmm. 
Might have also not looked at my inventory and just missed it. Okay, 35. Two more levels, chat. Come on. Speedy Gonzalez is needed. We all love that gigantic thing just hitting on us. A okay, minion damage reduction will be nice. And that, I think you want the minion damage reduction node before you go into before you go into Elias essentially. Because right now I have the minion elemental hazard reduction, right? So my minions are dying less likely or less fast. That's already a good one. And then on top of my minions dying less quick to to elemental things. So if you get like the normal um Damage reduction also. You, you should be really at a point where they just survive the capstone dungeon. This is also why we're doing this live for you guys. Because else I'm just going to record a guide where I say this works. But I don't have proof that it works. And I tremendously prefer to have proof of something working. I am stuck. Stepfather, mother, mom, dad, everyone. Step, 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 stone. What do you think is the best OP class? Seems to be Barb right now. But what does it matter if a class is OP when you when you just have to compete in class leaderboards? Like, see, I, I don't understand the question about th this because you're 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 anyways competing in class leaderboards, right? Most likely, if you want to compete. So it doesn't matter which class is OP. Because if, if your Barb is OP, then you're going to play against the guy that plays the OP shit the best. Unless PvP becomes a thing. This is an ARPG. PvP will never become a thing. And now don't say, but Pony, what about Diablo 2? No. Different times. These times don't exist anymore. Diablo does not care and will not care for PvP ever with this game. Because the actual PvP player base is what? 0.1%? 1.2% maybe? Even less? The Lost Ark PvP is insanely good. Lost Ark isn't generally insanely good. But that's Lost Ark. They put the MMORPG in ARPG. Something that Diablo kind of struggles with. <laughs> I need more time. Ow. <laughs> that pity timer was ridiculous there. I mean, how much longer are you going to have me like... We need more armor. I mean, for the for the capstone dungeon, we're probably gonna put on Juggernaut. It's actually a really good plan with with like with like Summer to Necker in general. Just just put on Juggernaut. Nah. I wasn't wanting to use this, but you're all being annoying. So there you go. Here, stupid things. You made me angry. You made me lose my like, land of the den. Uh, one shots nah that has nothing to do with pvp being dead because no one cares about pvp in an arpg i mean again coming back to class balance there's no class balance pvp already requires an inherent class balance to be there then there's also overpower damage being limited in pvp i mean imagine you're an overpower damage class and uh or you have an overpower damage build and and they're like, oh, you know what? Uh, overpowered damage can't actually do maximum damage in PvP. And the reason for that is that, like, we don't want you to have fun. Yeah. At which point or level would you recommend farming Duriel for Uniques? I would never recommend farming Duriel for Uniques because it's absolutely boring and atrocious. But if you want to do Duriel, uh, like, you should do it with a team and you can essentially do it as soon as you enter World Tier 4. 
That being said, if you want to do it solo, you should be around level 80, 85 to probably solo him, depending on your build. And your personal skill level and talent. I mean, don't, don't forget your personal skill level. What if you suck? No offense. Oh, that's my family. 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 Ah. Oh, another, another unique chat. There you go. I'm using up all my unique drop rates early on, so I don't need them later. <laughs> okay, chat. I'm, I'm just using it all up. Don't, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't hate the, don't hate the messenger. Hate the message. Uh, what priority do you guys complete in all the renowns? That's something you do early for the Paragons. Yes, you do the renowns one single time because then you'll have it unlocked forever. Uh, damage reduction in total armor. Oh, that's too good to ignore. Max of minion life would also be good. But it's too early to like really hog max of minion life things. You usually just ignore that kind of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that's frost burn. Ah. Uh. Nah. Nah. I'm really not interested. <laughs> oh, more minions take decreased damage. Oh, uh, that is buried with one real damage. Oh, this is good. I'm not ready yet. Okay, what do we have? 35. Uh, one, one hour 30 left. Well, I guess it's just at this point. Nightmare Dungeon 9, just going higher. I think we do like three more or so, and we should be 55. Three, four more. Do 
Your speed potion is not active. Yeah, I'm I'm like I'm forgetty spaghetti then most of the time. I'm not ready yet. No, there's one thing I actually never thought about, chat, right? But if you're playing Sever, and if you're playing Army of the Dead, and your skeletal mages are giving you resource back on on hit and then you use army of the dead to boost their attack speed into oblivion then you get more resource back i mean surprise right who would have guessed but for some for some reason I've, I've never like i've never put that into my brain lube that that is what it means also It's never mattered to me. <laughs> Timble, thank you for being the first sub this hour. Appreciation, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Mr. Timble and his brand new subscription. I'm not ready yet. Howdy. Also, Chad, if you did bring your prime sub, your sub sub, your follow, your lurk, your like on the YouTube stream, your TikTok diamonds. I don't know what. I don't even know what TikTok diamonds do. Jesus. People give you like TikTok diamonds. And you're like, I don't know what this does. I'm old. Someone gave me a galaxy this morning. I was like, I don't know what you're doing. Please don't hurt me. La, 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 you know? <laughs> oh, Stern. Howdy. And Blochu also. Good to see you there. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Love lurkers in the stream. Well, our stream is one of actually adults. You know, our average age in our community is 25 to 65. And, you know, like the amount of senseless, meaningless spam and bullshit is relatively low in our chat. So if you feel like that this doesn't look like your average 600 viewer chat, that's because it's not. It is not. It's a quality chat with quality people in it. You, the quality people. A bit different to what you usually see. And Harmonies is a bot, actually. Like, I pay him to say that. He's, he's AI. I subscribed him, too. So it seems, like, more believable. But yeah, our YouTube statistics are saying that we have more 65 plus viewers, Chan. Okay, age 65 plus, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> then we have 13 to 17. We are old. And I love it that way. Because I have no clue how to talk to 13 and 17 year olds, Chan. I don't want to use like weird words just to appeal to a younger audience. I don't want to behave in a certain way to appeal to a younger audience. I just want to be an old freaking fard that likes to play with numbers and, and play computer games and tell other old farts how to enjoy their computer games. And if they suck at them, I'll tell them they suck and then they get offended and they're like, how dare you? So, yeah, that's what I kind of want to do. I'm not ready yet. I think that's, that's good. You know, it's reasonable. Okay, go curse, curse, ah! It's the only thing I miss, blood mist every now and then, chat, but... Honestly, if you, if you position yourself smart, if you, if you, like, get the, the vibe in, you don't, you don't need blood mist. Even in tier 100 dungeons, it's not needed. It's just, it's just helpful and allows you to play a little bit careless, but realistically, you, you completely can do it without. You say he's in Germany? Uh, yes, I'm in Germany. I'm German, born in Germany, raised in Germany, living in Germany. Ow! Took a fire dart to the face. It's okay, Chan. Tis is just a flash wound. Actually, I don't think I don't think a fire dart to the face could be a flash wound. 
Ryan? It's just sunburn, exactly. Tis is just a sunburn. <laughs> true, true. Why are you not using bone prison? What for? Honest question. What 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 do you think bone prison would be would be doing for my build that that nothing would that the other things are not doing? Because if I would use bone prison, I have to drop something. If I use bone prison, I would have to drop decrepify. So, and if you drop Decrepify, then you're actually going to be missing out on a constant um, reduction of your... Cooldowns. You're missing out on a damage multiplier because you're cursing enemies. And on top of that, you're... Yeah, he just closed the Twitch and the YouTube stream. For no apparent reason, bud. I think we're back. But he just he just randomly closed the stream. Okay. I hope things are working. Didn't lose too much. Um uh, multi chan activity. Are you following a planner? No, I'm making this up all in myself. Is YouTube back as well? YouTube is working too? Yeah, YouTube is working too? Sorry, chat. Like, that that was weird. Like, this is this is the first time that has happened. Uh, like, he just, he just closed. He just closed OBS. That, that's a, that's a new one. I'll tell you. I mean, there's always something new with content creation. Like, you know, your PC just suddenly deciding to to be like yeah you know what no and you're like but but what if what if i want yes so coming back to the topic of bone prison like bone prison is not bad so you're you're it's not a horrible suggestion to say bone prison but the reality is that decrepify does better more consistent and more things also, the problem with Bone Prison itself is that Bone Prison has a cooldown too. Right? And when Bone Prison on cooldown, it does nothing. I mean, it's cool that your minions can phase now through the Bone Prison, so that's actually quite nice. A 54. Oh, another, another unique. Chad. Chad. Chad, another unique, and it's the best one. Okay, so what we got is uh, we got the um, the bloodless scream, and we can actually use this because we're playing summoner, and the bloodless scream works with summoner actually really really fucking well. Also, it, it is becoming like a little bit illegal. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit bad about like all the shit we're getting here because I, I, I have a hard time explaining at this point. Like we're getting to the point where I have a hard time explaining my RNG. Like, I, I, like I'm still trying to somehow pretend that this is not a whitelisted streamer account, okay? And you, you still, you're still pretending with me that it's also not a whitelisted streamer account and we're all like, ha ha ha, what a joke. Whitelisted streamer accounts, they don't exist anyways. And so we're all... Or like having fun, you know? Or pretending this is not, this doesn't exist. Okay. Okay. Good, now let's get this one in. <laughs> 
can destroy that, that, and that. Okay, we're close to 54, chat. Uh, like, we're, we're getting there. Uh, all these items are going to be turned into something soon. Don't worry. Uh, I just I just keep them because I want to use them. Actually, like, like let me let me break them down quickly. We're getting ready for the capstone dungeon. Good. Mm. Overwhelm whispers don't exist still. That means tier 10 Vault of Cinders. I don't know why I keep getting Vault of Cinders, but here we go. Uh, is the summoner build any better than the bone spear one? The summoner build levels extremely fast. The bone spear is stronger in the end game, but the summoner is just a very fun gaming experience. Now, obviously, choose choose your poison there. What you want to play, like it, you're gonna get 100 at some point, and then you can you can still play the strongest thing. But you want your journey to 100 to also be like like a joy, correct? And that's where the summoner is just it's just nice because it does fall off towards the end game. But uh, for people that love Summoner, there is a lot of ways how to still play Summoner in a very good way and have actually a plenty good time. And right now we're actually using Severs together with the um, with the Bloodless Scream. The Bloodless Scream is quite quite insane actually because it gives you like a very nice damage multiplier against frozen targets, and that's what we're doing. We're freezing and chilling our targets the whole time. Oh, we have just a good minion build. Hey, I'm 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 currently at five hours, guys. We're about to hit five hours, and I'm level fifty-five. I don't know how fast you leveled the, like this season, but that is that is incredible leveling speed. And I'm kind of forgetting to put my potion on for the past like hour. I'm not ready. So we have good minion builds. They're they're just not as good as right. I mean, minion can go to level one hundred. Minion can clear tier one hundred dungeons. They're just not as good as. I mean, definitely with the with the help of the robot right now, they have gotten better, because uh, you can you can alleviate any kind of essence issues in the long run and make your make your sever, for example, be really nasty. And I'm pretty sure I can have my golem do quite the damage, <gasps> and my minions as well in the long run. And on top of that, we're stagger machine, Chad. Or stagger machine like like this build staggers like there's no tomorrow and why can't the devs do a proper minion build that's because the devs have no clue whoever whoever is the necro designer is is has no clue how to make it work and the, the the whole team around also has no clue. I mean, if there was one thing crystal clear from the latest fireside chat, that minion is doomed. <laughs> that minions are doomed. I am sorry for anyone that had hopes. I only came here to crush them. Yeah. How do you know what dungeon here to do? So you're trying to do minions that are roughly 10 levels above you, but I do also not care about how many levels enemies are above me because I am strong enough to just do multiple more levels above me. Now, as a summoner, you get to look a bit out because of your minion survivability, but that one is also on a very good spot right now. But generally, you can take the tier of the glyph, 10, and then you can give that plus of uh, 54 levels. Then you know what level your enemies are. These enemies are 64, which is tier 10 plus 54. That's how that is uh, calculated.
Her minions doomed? Well, so the lead designer, guys, the lead class designer of Blizzard, Adam Jackson, was asked by the community um, during the stream live what, what they're going to be doing about minions and what's going to happen with minions. And we have a video of this. You can check it out on the channel. And his answer was... Oh, yeah, so... Wibbity, wobbity, libbity, blobbity, uh, empty phrases, uh, the team is blah, 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 uh, bingo, bongo. It, like, like, it couldn't have been a more, like... <laughs> like, we don't have a fucking clue reaction. You know, like, like he, he literally, he literally, like, he could have just shrugged his shoulders. That, that was his reaction, just like... Yeah. I mean, he, did, he didn't even have a non-answer. He didn't even have a, the team is looking into it and working on it. We are actually planning quite some severe changes. And like, in, in the future seasons, you should see the, the build, like, perform better than ever before. Like, they, he didn't even have a non-answer for us. It was literally a shoulder shrug. Just like, unlucky, huh? <laughs> so that's why minions are doomed. Uh, I mean, like, you can still play minions. That, that My goal is to now give you a build where you can just level to 100 and clear tier 100 dungeons with. And my goal is also to show you how to do that because often people struggle with the world tier progressions. And this is why I like doing these live streams. Because often people are like, I don't know when to go to World Tier 3. I don't know when to go to World Tier 4. I don't, like, you know, the, the, like the hardest parts, actually. Like, when, when should you skip World Tiers? What do you do when you skip World Tier early? How are you going to be able to handle that? And that's why I do these live streams where, where I level to, to like, kind of break it down to you and show you an example of how it's actually done. You know, how do you level respective during the World Tiers? So so you don't you don't have to, like, have these questions. You have answers now. And then you can subscribe and like the channel. You can tell your friends and you can be like, have you seen this guy Ponyhoff? And then, and, you know, we can all be, we can all be happy. So yeah, it's the plan. Come on, another unique. I don't want to be greedy, chat, but I think I only have gotten like three uniques in the past three dungeons, so it's getting kind of sad at this point. I'm like, imagine only getting three uniques. But to look at my items, by the way, chat, look at this. Almost level 10, right? Almost level 10 on some of these. Quite nice. Uh, Bone Spirit make Capstone seem way too easy. Love to hear it. Did you hear about Rack's reaction on your video? I heard that a certain Diablo YouTuber got offended about one of my titles. Even though he most likely misunderstood the title and still decided to get offended about it. And the conclusion is, it's not my problem what other people do. You know how it is. I mean, that then from other YouTubers community came over to my videos to spoo hateful messages on it. That's obviously sad. And the respective creator should know better than doing stuff like that because it just shows a very low level of integrity and knowledge about being a cool creator. But what do I know, chat, about this? Oh, by the way, also, if you do it live on stream, you know, like life hating on another creator on stream and like showing their content and saying derogatory things about it, that's also a bannable offense on Twitch. In case you didn't know this. So it's actually double stupid. Uh, let's do more armor because I want it to be way more sturdy. Mm, let's do Blizzard. On amulet for now, uh -huh. and we should be fine with this. I need more time. I thought he just had an opinion on something. Well, if the result is that his community comes over to hate, then your actions, you know, lead to that. You know, it's 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 just simple. As a creator, you have a responsibility, and you know. 
if you're if you're doing things live on stream with your relatively easily to influence community then you should expect that they're doing some stupid things and if you can't think that far as a creator yeah what can i say I mean, you know, imagine me pulling up now certain lady streamers in certain categories and waffling on about why lady streamers are all bad. And then you would go to the lady streamer stream and be mean to those lady streamers. Yes, you could now say I just said my opinion, right? But realistically, I effectively led to the moment of this happening, right? And let's see if we can do tier 16. Should be possible, right? He'll just say that has no no. You, it's not about control. Like you know, you can't twist tails like that. <laughs> but as always, I don't, I don't really give a damn, Chad. <laughs> I have better things to do than worry what other creators do. Um. But yeah, it's always sad to see. I mean, I've been on the receiving end of hate throughout my 11 years of content creation every now and then because people literally get offended by me having fun with computer games, you know? <laughs> the biggest offense you could give someone having fun with computer games. And people get offended by that. What can you do? It is what it is. You can't please everyone. You don't have to be friends with everyone as well. You know, it's the most important lesson to learn as a creator. You can't be friends with every viewer, and you can't be friends with every other creator. You know? It's what it is. Life's tough. Buckle up. Keep doing your thing. Mind your own business. The usual. Oh. Okay, I am surprised that this is going this well. Who am I kidding? I knew this was going to go this well, Chad. I'm just pretending. No, honestly, I'm surprised. I'm actually general, generally like happy about the power level that this build is putting down now. I mean, I knew it was going to be decent, but I didn't expect it to be this decent. Especially for the sever to work this well. I mean, I know how good sever is because I played that in season one. But that was also Sever being boosted by the by the stones, by what are they called again? By um by the malignant hearts. They they boosted Sever quite significantly. But yeah, this is going this is going beyond good. Oh god, I'm happy. <laughs> What is the seer cycling around you? They're from a random aspect that I picked up and they're rotating between fire, physical, uh, poison, shadow, lightning, whatever. Cold, yeah. So they, they, they go between these, these states. It's a completely useless thing for Necro, but you might as well have it. You know, like I, I picked it up. It's there. What can I do? Like it's a, it's a better ring than what I have. I mean, if, if it goes over cold, I do cold damage. If it goes over shadow, I do I do shadow damage, right? If it does physical, I also do physical damage to a degree. Um, so whatever it goes over, I, I got I got like some some of them covered, the others I don't. But bonus damage is bonus damage. Oh god. I thought that fire's gonna be like killing me, but that fire was from me. <laughs> like, I don't wanna die to this fire. Oh no, the fire is from me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after this dungeon, we will be going for the capstone dungeon. I hope you came ready with a fresh pair of underpanties because it's going to be clutch. How much life do I have? Oh, I have 3,000 life. Yeah, it's going to be so clutch, Chad. Yeah, this is going to be like super the challenge. Expect like nail biting uh, hardness. This will definitely be hard to do the capstone dungeon. And like, I'm so nervous and I would be less nervous if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and, and drop a prime sub right now.
By the way, Beowulf, blow true. Thank you for your subscription. <laughs> Can we laugh if you die? Well, the thing is, we currently have 8,000 armor, um, which is just nasty because we're at damage reduction cap for this tier. <laughs> Jaka, thank you for the brand new subscription. Appreciation. Thank you for falling for my elaborate scheme. Scam. So uh, we have we have 8,000 armor because we have the Juggernaut aspect. The Juggernaut aspect just literally makes your evade cooldown longer. But what do you care about that when you have like the maximum damage reduction, right? It's, it's like pff, whatever. And it's also really good for pushing into World Tier 4 because you essentially enter World Tier 4 and you're you're already armor capped. And you'll just you'll just stick through whatever the game throws at you. It's 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 really like Juggernaut is so much better than Disobedience, because Disobedience always needs time to charge up, right? Where Juggernaut is just active. Yeah, like, like it's it's simply Juggernaut exists. That's it. Your armor is up. The only problem I have about using Sever with this build that we're not using Grasping Veins and we're not using Grasping Veins or Corpse Tendrils. We're not using Grasping Veins and we're not getting the maximum amount of crit damage. So at some point, I would probably have to get Sever out for Blight because Blight technically might be better with damage over time because damage over time can't crit. But I haven't decided on that yet. Nah, checking out is always good. Seriously, skill skill is just insane. I mean, you you just have to understand that in World Tier Three, at least as a necro. So, I, I guess it has to do with being a necro again, because I am I am very tanky by nature, and I just generally stand around and don't move. Okay, like I, I am, I am not moving much. I am just generally an immovable object. So having an item that allows me to be even more immovable object is kind of like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, like that's exactly what we were looking for. Does Juggernaut make minions tougher? Minions are getting a percentage of your armor, so it should make them more tougher. Ramus, I am doing very well. Thank you for asking. Life's good. Uh, children are partially ill, I guess. I mean, that, that's always the thing, right? It's winter, but you know what? Life, life's good. When my YouTube is popping, my Twitch exists. Chat seems happy. Season 4 started as a medium disaster and is getting better over time now. Yeah. Could be worse. You know? Could be fucking worse. Does Juggernaut make you look fat? <laughs> I guess that's a good question. Good question. Okay, ladies. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to the wrong direction. <laughs> I was like, let's go for the temple, but let's go for the right direction for the temple. Not while I'm in town. Get what do you mean? Uh, okay, let's uh, get here. What, what are we crafting? Crushing elixir, overpower, dodge, attack speed. Attack speed. Yeah, yeah. More attack speed is more attack speed. Team. There we go. Okay, let's see. We got officially, we're one hour early. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been doing this now for five hours and six minutes. The plan was six hours to World Tier 4. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. So, under, under six hours? 
the best part is if you make under six hours where I want to be, okay, Chad? The actual, like the leveling in World Tier 4, the first five levels are like this, right? I mean, the first five, for, for, for first five levels in World Tier 4, you do like one or two strongholds, you do one Legion event, and boom. Your, your XP is like sky high. How do we feel about Bloodlands this season? Well, there's a very easy answer to that in case you have not seen what I created this morning. But yesterday, uh, we actually had a whole stream that was about Bloodlands and we essentially created the perfect Bloodlands build that has billions of damage that clears tier 100 dungeon with ease. That is literally the best build in existence right now. So what do I think? Um... It was better than Spirit Spear. Mm, does feel more consistent. Bone Spear or Bloodlands? Bloodlands needs a few key pieces to work. So uh, Bone Spear is easier to pull off without having these key pieces. Okay, why am I doing so much damage? Why did we do a tier 16, guys? Because a tier 16 also has level 70 monsters. And if I can do the level 70 monsters in a tier 16, guess what I can do to the level 70 monsters in the capstone dungeon? So yeah, that was that was a reason to actually test this. I was hoping I could spirit bomb uber bosses. Uh, you can. There is a way to spirit bomb uber bosses. Uh, you will have to combine overpower and bone spirit. You have to go for a full bone spirit build uh, without bone spear. And then you're going to essentially you use your Bone Spirit as a um, Overpower Critical Strike Super Multiplier. And that allows you to go to one hit of bosses. The problem is that's a build that would be made to one hit bosses. And it wouldn't be made to like zoom through dungeons. So it's kind of like useless build because like the amount of times where you're farming bosses and you actually need to one hit them versus the times where you would have to also be able to speed run dungeons. Uh, yeah, you see where this is going, right? Okay, why am I so much stronger than when I was here with my... With my Bone Spear build. I mean, my, my Bone Spear build was also just blasting through this. Not the point. But this one is factually stronger right now. Hmm. Mr. Panshot, thank you very much for your third uh, for the sub with the three months, right? You sub like three months in advance straight away. I see that correct. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Panshot, the man, the myth, the legend. He's not a one-time subber. He's a three-time subbing legend. In a row. Stop hitting my tiny robot. What did he ever do to you? I'm not ready yet. What did he ever do to you? Okay, this is good. Like, I should have gone earlier, Chan. But yeah, this makes me very happy that it's going so simple because now, now I can like, yeah, now you can do it too if you want to. For the Bone Spear Spirit build, do you use Spirit on bosses, elite mobs? Uh, you use it on everything. I mean, the cooldown is so low. If you crit, you can use it on everything. I mean, I I, I essentially dive bomb into my opponents and then I just shotgun them. Uh, if you want to see like how I play the Bone Spear Spirit, there's also other live streams on YouTube. The past live streams where I essentially leveled with that build, so you can you can literally see me use that live. That's why these streams exist. Use the autocast ring. I was lucky enough to actually pick up the autocast ring, yes. <laughs> very early. Kane, thank you very much for your sub as well. Welcome to the community. Greetings to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to see that my Twitch is not completely dying with Diablo 4 because there is the fear right now as a creator because of the overall reception of Season 3 that you're going to be like, ah, oh, yikes. How much Diablo can I really stream?
So I'm just very glad that there's so many people out there who are actually enjoying season three, who are trying to have fun. I don't think all of you are level 100 yet as well, right? I mean, we, we have the first level 100 character uh, by like in two days, we could have the second level 100 character as well, uh, because why not? I mean, we really don't have to kill all of these, but I kind of hate them. You're only level 80. I'm mean, level 80 is pretty respectable. I mean, seven days into the season, we're going to be realistic about that, right? What is my tuning stone? Uh, I don't need governing stone, even though I have it equipped. It's a what? 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 Nightmare 24, first time in tier 4, might have been optimistic. If you are level 60, uh, if you're level 60 in world tier 4, you should, you can technically already do tier 30s, depending on your build. Technically. It's depending on your build and your personal experience. How do I know that? Because we've done that last season. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Greetings from Germany back to you. Looking forward to the Pure Summoner. It's working very well. I can only attest for an absolute speed speed leveling world record tempo. And on top of that, it's really fun to play. Which is the best on top of that. Because who doesn't want something that's really fun to play? Also, you get to use Sever Chan. Ah, please, please stay put, sir. We do not want to mingle and jingle. And now let's go for Elias. 7,000 armor, 3,000 life. Thank you. Why must I go? Appreciate it. Also good to see an old timer also enjoying the content. I think Diablo is generally a game that's also being played by an elderly community. <laughs> and with elderly community, I mean myself. So please never feel offended by this. I like being old, Chan. I've never seen a problem with that. I've always enjoyed like not being a young creator anymore. I had my, I had my years where I was a young creator, but I've always been a grandpa by heart. So... You know, I like being old. God, this is so, this is like so stupid simple right now. You're 45 and you're playing D4. I love that. Ow! Teddy one shot. Why? Why make me read that? I'm in shambles. Chad killed me. A 38, almost 39. Hey, I got another four months. Then I'm then I'm gonna be older. Another four months, chat. For the mid 30s. Am I am I then supposed to start midlife crisening, or do I still have some time before I get to go crazy? Okay, I don't I don't know, chat. When when do I have to start going crazy? With 30s? Is it okay? Can I kind of like, I don't know. Do I have to buy a bike? Boat? What do I have to do? I don't know. I don't know what's in the game plan. Question my life choices. No bike, you have kids. Well, I do have the bike license though. I just haven't used it in 10 years. And I'm not certainly not planning to. Wife would also single-handedly murder me if I would probably like suggest that in a in a way. Divorce and marry a younger woman. No, I have an older woman. I have a cougar, Chad. 
My wife is two weeks. <laughs> Recently, the children were asking us how old we are, and we're both 35, but my wife is two weeks older, so I told my child that my mom is a cougar, uh, that my wife is a cougar, and, and she laughed, and she found that funny, and I found it funny too. Um, so yeah. The wife didn't. It's two weeks, John. Two weeks matter, right? I mean, I mean, I'm always saying my wife get herself a young husband. It's out for the fresh meat, guys. She's the butcher. I actually never thought about it, but that, that's probably what it is. Okay, where's where's like the rest of the dudes? Like I'm I'm looking for the for the other like um the carriers of the of the anima. Where is the animus carrier? They're sometimes hiding like so stupid, and I I hate it. Did you forever? Oh God, Christ! Did you forever have a loot filter? No, and you don't really need it. I mean, end of the day, if the game has quality loot, then you don't need loot filters. Th that's how I feel about it, personally. And I've played PoE with loot filters, and I, I just feel like if, if, you, if you take out all the useless loot, then I am very fine with not having a loot filter. And with all the useless loot, I'm, we're, we're obviously talking about all the damage on Tuesdays, the, the uh, like, like blood orb healing increase, the... The four seconds movement speed after killing an elite, the... Yeah, you, you get the drift, right? I'm not ready yet. Or would I need a loot filter if these things are out? Also an older woman by seven months. Definitely a cougar. We have it here. Katie's confirmed. Uh, conditional damage. I don't mind conditional damage, right? But damage to injured is just stupid. I mean, like, tell me, tell me anyone that says, oh yeah, I want that one item that gives me 40% more damage if my opponent is 35% and below. I mean, damage, damage to injured is a stat that should single-handedly not exist in this game. Damage damage while healthy or damage to healthy opponents makes sense because you might land a very high crit, correct? Like your initial crit could be high. So if you do more damage to healthy opponents than the 80% plus and then you do like super ultra crits, that makes sense. Are all streamers participating in the drops for the mound? Yes, they actually changed that and they said in the fireside chat that they wanted everyone to be able to get the drops for their community. And I think it's a good change. I mean, I definitely have profited from being in the program, but I personally think it is better if everyone has a chance uh, because then, then like, you know, it, it's kind of stupid when... Yeah, when people just get excluded because because you want to stream the game, but you already know that you're like you're at a disadvantage over other content creators. I don't know if that makes sense. By the way, when the hands are glowing, guys, of the lads, that means they are in your radius of Hellbent Commander for the bonus uh, damage. Yeah, lads, you came to the wrong birthday party because there is no birthday party. Done for. Okay, let's see if we can do allies first. Maul him! Lads, maul him! No mercy. 
Yep, yep, maul them harder. Do it. Do you see how I'm running out of essence? No, because I'm not. Because I am not. Hallo, Kind. Deine Schwester eingeschlafen schon? Warum bist du dann hier unten? Oh, du bist ein Handybandit, weißt du das? Warum habt ihr Tablets? Ich habe doch gesagt, keine Tablets mehr. Mama hat das erlaubt. Ich glaube, da muss ich gleich mal mit der Mama darüber reden. Mach die Tür bitte zu. Good. You're struggling with him at level 65? Well, I mean, you know, I'm, like, I've done this hundreds of times. Your cute daughter, I know. <laughs> I, I know. They're very cute. Hi. Well, with 65, you should, you should shit on him. But it might be that, um... That your build is just not efficient enough. I mean, right right now, like my Paragon board is like super super like well thought out and everything. Uh, my 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 like my thangies are thanging, you know. It's like everything going good. So Torment four. Now you're going to World Tier four, guys. I think this is the step that most people, by the way, struggle with. So now now we're going for World Tier four, and this is where where then like the biggest confusion sets in. Like, how are you supposed to now go for World Tier 4 and not get your ass handed to you left, right, and center by everything? Correct? That's, that's the main question people have. And it's a very good question. And the answer is by, well, keeping to do strongholds now. So the goal is get some strongholds done. Because again, they are level gated. Good. Mr. Push, thank you for the sub. Prince, thank you for the 12 months for the one year of support. Congratulations on the sub batch upgrade. Best necro build for Nightmare Dungeons. Right now, either pure bone spear slash spirit too, or The Bloodlands build that we just posted today. See, everything is 75. We're, we're like really not made with our level 55, 20 level difference to kind of compete here. But, and you notice how that lightning damage has almost chunked me into pieces straight away. I mean, my minions are surviving. Barely. My minions are surviving barely. What we're looking for now is for a Legion event to happen. Because a Legion event at this point is two levels for me. Sounds a bit crazy, but it really is what it is. Can't say no to that. Ow, I got killed by a corpse bow. <laughs> Sniped. Do you keep any old legend sacred aspects when you had World Tier 4? You delete them. I mean, they could still be max roll. You know? Is something wrong with max uh, with uh, mobilitics? You can't see the paragon on your bone spirit build. Are you looking at the right one? I mean, I, I have uploaded multiple. One doesn't have paragons. I'm at tech powers 15k, my overpower is 1.2k. I only crit 300k compared to my friend. Well, so first and foremost, you can't compare yourself to Barb, my friend, because Barb is overtuned. So you're not doing anything wrong. 
okay you don't don't you don't you ever feel like it's your fault it's just Barb being completely overtuned fault okay but there we are already 56 congratulations so Barb is overtuned by every metric so if you do less damage than your friend that is a Barb then then that's because he's a Barb you're doing fine don't you worry now, only having 1.2k overpower, we can talk about that. Because at level 80, you could already have like 2k overpower, probably. Uh, if you level up your Dominic Glyph. Dominic Glyph needs to be leveled up and then maxed out. And it's going to be like quite insane. So this is, by the way, like again, how we're leveling. We just got into the world tier, right? And we're doing a stronghold. And everyone in this stronghold is now our level. Which allows us to farm up our level quite nicely. And the completion of the stronghold. Don't forget that because that's very important. The completion of the stronghold also gives you a huge boost of experience. Which is kind of nice too. We're using Sever instead of Blight. Because Sever Chung's harder than Blight. Also, Sever gets stronger for every minion you have. So, Blight, Blight makes the damage of your minions higher. Sever gets stronger for every minion you have. Blight is technically better to have your minions do more damage. Sever is just a cooler ability to use. Especially in the beginning while leveling. Um, Sever just hits more targets. Blight is very localized. Where Sever goes in, does this whirl. So this whirl hits everyone. And then on the way back, it also hits everyone. This is really good when it comes down to just hitting things. Whereas, uh, yeah, like, Sever feels, like, uh, Blight feels a bit lackluster during leveling. Blight is really good against bosses, single target elites, all that kind of stuff, right? But but otherwise, it, it, you sometimes can just feel stupid. I mean, do you notice, like, that Sever's weak here? Do you have the Lego that makes you use auto core skills? Yeah, but I don't want to talk about it because it's kind of, like, mean that I have it already. Also, we're not going to play it with this build for one reason in the long run. Uh, yes, it does resummon my skeletons, but I do not need it to resummon. Okay, we need to do this one, Temple of Rod, really quick, because then we can do the Legion event, and then, boom, we're going to be level 58 or 59 almost. So the thing is, with the um, auto corpse thingy, we're not going to be using corpse tendrils in any capacity, Chan. Okay, corpse tendrils will not be used by this build, which is kind of sad because corpse tendrils is really good. But in order to use corpse tendrils, I will have to drop the golem. And I don't want to drop the golem, you know? I wanted to play the minion thingy. That's where we kind of want to keep the golem. yeah that's where we go do i really have to use blood mist in the bone spear spirit build yes blood mist is just too good for engaging for essence production uh to make corpses and other shenanigans um so yeah there's often situations where blood mist will will literally be the deciding factor to to keep the smoothness of the build up because Blood Mist allows you to not be damaged and at the same time to also, like, just create corpses, right? And that corpse production is, is really mandatory often when, when you're looking for, like, resources in boss fights and so on. But I can totally understand you if you don't like uh, Blood Mist. I, I am with you there because I don't like that it's seemingly mandatory to be used. Like, why should I be forced to use the skill... Oh, you're both a vampiric. That's cute. You're also both dead losers. Okay, we're still sub six hours, guys. We have 30 minutes to hit the six hours. Let's see how far we can get. Oh, God, we're doing so much damage to him.
staggered. <laughs> Stagger's insane. Done. All these items are useless. Boop, boop, boop. Need more mage thingies. Oh, um, yeah, you're like, hang in there. Hang tight, boys. We got your bag. Oh, Neil, you get the Ring of Starless Skies. Congratulations. Still don't like it. But I am very happy for you that you finally are getting your Ubers. Because Neil, Neil sucks at getting Ubers, Chan. He really does. Imagine trying to, like, farm Duriels for thousands and thousands of tries and not getting in. Okay, so we're ready for this, but I think before we do this, we need to teleport out, get a potion, get back in, and then we're ready, right? So right now, before you do a single Nightmare Dungeon, you want to get level 60. Why level 60? Because on level 60, uh, you're finally able to use Ancestral Gear, and with Ancestral Gear, you get, you're going from here to here straight away. So Bloodlands is better than Bone Spirit Lands. Uh, bone spear spear it's very good i'm always doing hard with a better or worse comparison because it really comes down to you personally as well and how you feel about it Okay, oh, uh, where is my elixir? Boing. Lightning resistance, yep, lightning resistance is what we want. This is actually really what we want because the coming, uh, <laughs> the coming Legion event has a lot of lightning opponents. Ah, would have guessed, right? Okay, so let's look into our skills if we have to change something. So, we are having the Reap because we need to have it. We're currently using Sever together with Sever more damage. We have Hoot Flash. That's nice. We're not using Imperfectly Balanced. We currently have Corpse Explosion maxed out with Blighted Corpse Explosion. We should actually take Thorns because Thorns go over to our minions. We have the maximum amount of Essence back from this. We have Amplified Damage. With the cooldown reduction, then we have the Skeletal Mastery. We do more Gloom shenanigans. We also have Reaper's Pursuit, and we have the Stun. That's mandatory. Then we have the Golem Mastery. We do have Army of the Dead into Inspiring Leader for more attack speed, death defense, and also Hellbent Commander on Kalen's Addict. The problem here being that we kind of need the three points in Gloom because that is you deal increased shadow damage to enemies who are slowed, chilled, and increased damage to enemies who are stunned or mobilized. But it would also only increase the minion damage if they're that. Uh, this is your damage with darkness skills. They, uh, uh, when you damage enemies with darkness skills, they take increased shadow damage. So that's just me doing more shadow damage for the corpse explosion. Technically, we're probably best if we if we take all the points out of Sever, as much as that hurts me, just to put, like, the three points back here. Yeah, and then put one point in Thorns. That lowers our Sever damage, but it hires our Corpse Explosion damage in total, because the Corpse Explosion is part of the damage. Technically, we should be taking the Shadow Black key passive as way because it would just be stronger like this. But we want to go for minions, so we'll take Kalen's Addict. Now that we also lowered the Sever damage, we might actually be time to go over to Blind. But I just really like Sever so much more. You don't have, to, you don't have room to run two attacks. I'm, oh, you do. You do. The question is only why are you running the one attack, right? So the reason to obviously run the blight is because the blind, boop boop boop, 
Blight in this case would give you a Union Minions deal increased damage. But the problem is the Blight is just not as cool as ever. Okay, let's see how much experience this can give us. This is not one of my favorite density Legion events, but I would still be counting on roughly two levels to go by. See, every season, everyone is always confused with what is best or what is not best. I mean, end of the day, I'm providing options, right? For everyone. I'm alone in the Legion. Oh, good luck. You can do it. Is there a trick for the fire? No, uh, the, the fire is not firing anymore. You just have to stand next to it and we'll slowly fill up. Ah, play, playing Blight is so unsatisfying compared to Sever. <laughs> Sever just feels so much cooler. <laughs> Sever, Sever. I'm not ready yet. Whoever just charged them away. God, you're so boring. Overseer, thank you for dropping by on Twitch and watching all the guides. It's very appreciated. I like making those guides. Those guides are paying the bills right now, chat. So, so everyone that's watching my guides, thank you for paying the bills. You're, you're a part. You're part of the reason why I have food on the table, and I appreciate having food on the table. I mean, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, I like to eat. Food is fun. I hate charge barbs. Yeah, charge barbs are not making any friends this season. That's for sure. Charge barbs are not making many friends this season. They're like, you know, they exist. Not as bad as Boulder Druid. Everything is bad for a Necro. Everything is faster than me. <laughs> no one is fun to play with. People are like, why do you play alone? Because I hate everyone else. As soon as you hit world tier four and people have all their skills, they're going to be like, pew, pew, beam, 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 cooldown reduction, beam, 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 zoom, 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 zoom. I'm just like, cool, 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 cool. That's really nice to see. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Like, don't worry. I'll, I'll be there in a sec. Like, give me a jiffy. And a lot alone when you're a summoner. No, I got the voices in my head. That's true. Ah, get pooped on. Resurrecting everyone. This is, by the way, the lazy man's way of resurrecting chat. Just press the button to get things back and you're good to go. Yep. <laughs> when you when you set up for the very good spirit bomb and charge barbs are ruining that, that's exactly my pain point. You're sitting there, you set everything up for the for the perfect, uh, you know, explosion, and then charge bomb just comes in and pushes everything to the side, and you're like, "Sir, I don't like this." What I'm really enjoying right now is how my minions are just not dying, right? I mean, we're we're having the we're having the elemental resistance. That's very very important. So the the mage glyph is probably the most important glyph to get, because if you're not getting the elemental resistance, then you're gonna be in trouble. But yeah, now now due to my minions having the elemental resistance going on, they're so sturdy. Did 
Legion events suck. Uh, I mean, Legion events are anyways just there to leech XP. Who's taking them serious? I'm, I'm just here to lead Jake's page on. You stack minion life and minion attack speed. Yes, you stack minion life and minion attack speed. That You got that correct. I mean, minion life anyways on every item that has minion life. Pans, chest, rings. If if you're running certain ring, if you're not running unique rings. And uh, offhand. That's why I usually want to play an offhand. Uh, you need at least three items with plus 50% minion life. Yeah. Does Tempest Roar drop from Duriel and World Tier 4? I wasn't aware you're you're going to be doing Duriel and World Tier 3. Uh, Duriel is a World Tier 4 activity. Because that's also when you start getting the materials. I mean, no one in their right mind should, should ever go one World Tier back to do Duriel. <laughs> okay ladies and gentlemen i activated the glyph whenever your minions deal damage to an enemy that enemy takes one percent increased damage from you and your minions 10 uh, and your minions up to 12 percent let's go i definitely want cool leader john <laughs> you see how I staggered him? That's me, chat. That's me. That's my stagger. Give me that ancestral gear. Ancestral gear. Ancestral gear. Oh. Ancestral gear is so good. Can't wear. So oh, God. I got another pink gorgeous gauntlets, chat. This is the second time I've gotten them. Holy moly. I just keep getting uniques. See, this is what I'm saying about getting uniques, chat. You don't even have to try. The uniques, they're just they're just falling in your lap. Thank you. Thanks. It's gonna be like, here you go, more uniques. And you're like, thank you very much. That's very appreciated. Can we do what do you think? Do you think we can do the whispers? With level 57? <laughs> With enemies that are 13 levels higher than not 13 levels higher than us. Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, they are 18 levels higher than us. I need more time. I need time to do that. No, my, my 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 golem did some damage there. My my corpse my corpse thingies are also doing some corpse thingies. Well, pro problem is like everything just trailing me. Stop trailing me. How about that? Yeah, could you, could you stop trailing me? Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, what do you think, guys? Can we summon Melfis without like instantly dying? My biggest problem is my elemental resistances, as you can see here, minus three and minus two. <laughs> we will push the elemental resistances with um, the Paragon board, partially. It's the easiest way to do it, two degree. See, my, my minions are still not dying, despite, like, I feel like they should die. Oh, shit. That's bad. That's bad. This takes your mate. Yeah, see, su Summoner in the world tier still doing reasonably well. Just jumped over because we stacked damage reduction quite nicely. So, we, we gotta be real about this. We did stack damage reduction quite nicely, so that, that helps a lot. Oh, you're going to be doing this? Sure. I'm with you. No problem. You you got this, girl. Yeah, let's go. 95 Wicked Witch. She got this, Chan. I just, I just got to stand on max range and do my thing. As long as I don't have to walk into the... In, oh, ow, 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 ow. As long 
as I don't have to walk in there, we're, we're good. Where's the DPS? You know? Yeah, we're, we're just we're just pumping items here. Whisper done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's it's still not done. I thought I thought we we got this tower. No, the tower is still towering, Chad. Let's go in stun. Boom. Stun again. Look at us. We're the heroes. Upward out because we did the whisper. Almost finished glyph 50 on my grizzly rage. Shepherd LS drew it and is already doing millions of damage. I love to hear that. Sam. Also great name. Great name, sir. Good quality choice. Good. That was another level almost there, chat. I mean, we're currently moving our way towards the... Uh, more minion attack speed and more minion damage node, right? And we're going to be boosting that. I'm not sure if we're going to be choosing the golem. Oh god, that's a lot of items. I'm not sure if we're choosing the golem. Uh, there you go. Come on, give me one more level. I'm just going nuts. Okay, we want it to be 60 in 6 hours. Chad, I have 13 more minutes. 13 more minutes for three levels. That seems a bit not happening, right? Yeah, my, my minions are like I'm taking more damage than my minions from this uh, electricity. So I am. What do you think? Do you think I could do a vault, Chad? Is doing a vault greedy? We still can deposit Venuma's moats right now. Oh, two levels. Yes, not three levels. Two levels. And not even two full levels. Jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, shit, shit. Somewhere, 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 somewhere from, like, shadow thingies. Fro frost dudes shooting me with frost booms. Okay, one, two down. Come on, the next one. Two levels in... Th oh, God, no. Two levels in 30 minutes sounds almost doable. That's, that's the that's the problem with this world tier, right? That you're just very prone to to random deathies to whatever. Okay, that was nice. Come with me. I could finish this whisper. That would be plenty cool. And I, I don't mind like fighting these these all the all the robo enemies because they are generally like very low li there's a lot of them but they're all like low life and die quick and as long as my as long as the ranged ones are not attacking me we're like good There we go. Beat him. Bloody. Man, this is giving us uh, good levels of experience. Are you leveling one Necro for every build? No, I'm going to level two Necros to just be prepared on the day that the Gauntlet releases to have two different skilled necros available and then be able to choose the one that i feel like will be performing best in the gauntlet um i still do think it's probably going to be i'm, I'm I, it's a hard choice between like like bone spear and some other stuff and it really comes hardcore down to what level 
what level the gauntlet will turn out to be. And you might have missed this, but the gauntlet seems to be not level 100 yet. I mean, we don't know if this actually changes because, I mean, everything is prone to change, right? Time. Good to see you there. Prohog also, by the way. Howdy. Also, Cuckoo, thank you for the brand new subscription. A pleasure to have you with this. So, yeah, um, it comes really down to what, what level it will finally then be. Well, this is a wave-based event. That's a lot of experience, honestly. What's the gauntlet? The gauntlet will be the leaderboard dungeon. The leaderboard dungeon is a non-linear dungeon with three ways to play through. And you'll essentially have to choose which way is the best and then make the best time. And if you get top 1,000, you get a cool frame. And if you get top 10, you will go into the Hall of Ancients and be forever into the leaderboard. The leaderboard has group leaderboards. It has... Uh, um, Class-specific leaderboards, so Necros only, Barbs only, ETC, Solo, um, Hardcore, Softcore, so split into everything. And it's changing weekly. That's very important. So every week, the leaderboard is different. Uh, every, every week, the leaderboard dungeon, the gauntlet is different. And that's going to make for some interesting playthroughs because every week, there will be a certain strategy, a certain build who's just best. And that's where I need multiple Necros to be prepared for this. Thanks for playing minion. I'm not alone. Well, I promised to give you a minion build to play through. And like until world tier four, it has felt extremely solid and good. Uh, it still feels solid in world tier four as well. So it's not like that. We're at, at some point now not completely feeling uh, strong right now. But uh, you're slowly like getting to the point that compared to the other builds, you'll need to put a lot of bonus effort in to keep growing strong. That's an advantage of the other builds. They're getting stronger, more effortless than you. And they're also getting more tanky because the biggest problem that I have right now is that I will not get much more tanky. So I'm going to be having to sacrifice my own tankiness to boost the survivability of my minions and that can be a bit of a bummer at times and right now we're just trying to get the cult leader node and i'm not sure how much damage boost the cult leader node gives us because usually cult leader was just not feeling that awesome but now with the attack speed boost it could feel vastly better Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think like it's 59. It'll be 59 in, in all these hours. Uh, let's do the, let's find the ice. Oh, shit. Uh, they almost had me. Yeah, with, with the bone spear, we would just like tear, tear him apart. Oh, ow. I mean, at least my minions are not dying at all. So that is, again, vastly satisfying. Oh, God, there's more opponents coming from everywhere. I'm just trying to stay alive, sir. Yeah, like no one, no one, no one has me. I am, oh, 95. I got five more minutes for another level. I guess that ain't happening. If I, if I hand that whisper in, how much XP is it, Chan? How much XP is that whisper possibly going to be? Uh, I would like if separating your survivability and minion survivability wouldn't be a thing anymore. I mean, like, you shouldn't be punished for having minion, and that is what's happening right now. 
So you choose to have minions and you get punished. You choose to not have minions and you get rewarded. That's currently the, the loop with minions. And that actually feels bad. Like you shouldn't be punished for having minions. For having like to compromise between your own and the minion survivability. Why is that, why is that even a thing? Mm. Okay, chat, we got another tray of whispers. How close are we getting? When we almost have the level done again, shit. Four more, three more minutes. Three more minutes. Faster. Hand it in. Get a huge amount of XP. We got this. <gasps> Chat, three minutes of grinding. Let's do it. Whoa. What's the best way to increase minion attack speed? Aspects. There's aspects that increase the minion attack speed vastly. Um, like your skills in general, right? Uh, but but most of the aspects. The aspects are just insane when it comes down to the increasing of the like what the minions do. So that, that's my that's my number one advice. Go for that. Uh, then obviously there's items that increase your minion attack speed, and you should you should always boost these items as well because it like it, this is your thing. This is one of the most important stats for you to take. More minions. Oh yeah, that, 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 that dude is gonna be like, please stand in the middle of the lightning conduit. Yeah, you stand in the middle and I'm on the outside, okay? Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work, brother. <laughs> You do you, and I, I like I, I'm I'm I do me, and I'm like together we're we're got this, okay? Yeah, this like, like the the T and team stands for you do everything, and I just leech the XP. One more minute and twenty seconds, chat. For the magical six hour mark to be up. Oh no, there's a oh shit. Oh no 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 I'm not standing below that. Uh uh. No! No! I need to be alive when he kills them all. I'm coming. Don't join my XP. Ah! Uh, 30 seconds, no! Oh, he died too. Okay, I'll 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 say six hours to sixty, Chan. And we're we're, we're short. We're, we're like we're ten seconds left. <laughs> I think I think we did it. I can, I can live with a slight in discrepancy. I was on the toilet. Okay, in between. Okay, the build the build has done in, but I think now now is like the time where it slow, slowly will start slowing down. You know, like so until this point, it has felt like really good, but you notice how we're just uh, unfortunately dying. Okay, I am I am very happy with this result. I mean, the plan was to get world tier four, and we're actually like we 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 exceeded every expectation with this. So if you're interested in playing this, I mean, in six hours, you can be level 60. Damn. 
And the speed is not even slowing down that much right now because we're actually going to be putting on ancestral gear and we can start min maxing. But it's not about like putting on the ancestral gear. It's about like getting the paragon nodes now that will actually allow us to like exist even further and be even more dangerous. Because that's what we're getting. We're getting like the our main damage node, right? The, the main node that allows us to do even more damage than ever before. That makes our minions stronger than ever before. That's kind of cool. And you notice how how good leveling in the overworld though is. I mean, like alone the XP we have made here now in the in the overworld zone, despite despite barely being able to like handle this area, right? I mean, like we're gonna be honest about this. We're we're barely we're barely able to hold our ground here. Uh, we're getting our ass handed to us, right, by all these nerds. Something. What's your resistance? I don't have resistance. <laughs> What's your resistance? What is resistance? I don't have resistance. Here, these are my resistances right now. We have the armor. That's good because of safeguard, right? But we have the 62 cold, 29 shadow, and then minus 1.7, minus 3.6. <sighs> fantastic. Pain, but fantastic. See, but now we can put on a two-handed weapon with 800 item power. Or we could put on a one-handed wand that has uh, 826 item power to vastly improve our damage, right? I mean, that's like like this here, right? Now, now suddenly huge amounts more of damage. That that's like obviously nasty. Same goes for the helmet. Like having a helmet that we give, give me straight away like another 2,000 for my skeleton mages now. A chest plate, we don't have a new one. You got boots, which are higher item power in every capacity, to be honest. Uh, we can take that one with the two charges. You have gloves, which are better. Uh, they kind of steal us Army of the Dead right now, but we can make up for that. We don't have any rings, to be honest. So, but still, like, you know, the, the improvement is real. So that that's a the huge huge difference, and then I can still look into my chest of amazing things, right? Because my chest of amazing things also has stuff that I can potentially put on. Um, these are all like partially some low level items, but I think I also do have some stuff here that that's just like uh, level sixty uh, ancestral shenanigans that you know instantly boost you. I and mean, we have some. With some random uniques. I think the first version of this one, I dropped one. These are 80 drops, but I think I have a lower drop of that one as well for no reason. I have a very low sacrilegious soul ring also. Why ever have that? I have a ring of Mendel already waiting for me. So you notice everything is uh, just right there waiting to get into my hands. That being said, chat, I would say we're done for today. Uh, we might continue with the minions tomorrow if you're interested in that to see how they do in World Tier 4, First Nightmare Dungeons, that kind of stuff because I want to show you like the further performance of this build. Uh, might then be pushing it like even further and see what we can achieve. Until then, have a great good time, night, evening, day. It was so good to see you all here. Um, not sure what the video for tomorrow is. Might be just about the pure summoner leveling build. So you can actually level. Balds, thank you very much for the two gifted. Uh, just general appreciation to you actually enjoying Diablo. You know how it is. It's like just absolutely great to, to be able to do this on the daily. And if you don't mind, just do follow and support wherever you feel like. And I'll see you all tomorrow again. Goodbye.